Got my dick in my hand. I've got cum in my glass. Let's play some near Automata. Ah, how's everyone doing today? It's definitely been a good couple of days since I last uh, played Automata. Uh, I'm actually trying to remember what exactly I did last time. I remember, obviously, I remember Root C, and I think I was playing as 9S, and then I think I ended up switching back to A2. Uh, yes, and then, yeah, I did a whole bunch of quests for the twins. Uh, I'm trying to remember where exactly I left off. I can't recall. Uh, I think I did, I think I was doing more side quests than anything else, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure my memory will get jawed as soon as we, uh, <laughs> uh hop back into this. Fucking JRPG troubles, am I right? Am I right? JRPG problems. Anyways, I'm excited to play some more Automata. Let's just hop right into this. Let's get rid of this fucking music. Lame ass shit. Yeah, it's so lame yet I fucking play it. <laughs> Bam! Near Automata, my son. Let's go. Let's uh, meet Pascal at the abandoned factory. Oh, okay, yes. Uh, A2, that's right, A2 met Pascal, she doesn't exactly trust her, this and that, and I had to meet her at the factory for something? Oh, that's right, I put this little cute little bow tie on her. So adorable. Let's see if I even remember how to play this damn game. <laughs> it's been, it has definitely been a hot minute. Take a look at the map first. There's no side quests or anything like that on the map, is there? No, I'm pretty thorough. I think I would have done everything that's available. Yeah. I'm like that when it comes to video games, you know? Alright, let's go check out the Ben Fat. Let's see what Pascal wants here. I don't remember exactly why Pascal wants us to meet her here. Uh, hey guys, oh, that's right, the village got attacked, oh man, oh, I forgot about that, yeah, these are all the survivors, they're like refugees, oh shit, okay, Pascal, are you okay? damn, look at that cake though, so what hey, happen? thanks for the sub man, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, it's such a cute bow, isn't it? I love it. Alright, what'd you say, Pascal? <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I got a sub. Uh, can't you regener regenerate? I mean... Query. We understand that machine life forms can regenerate as long as they possess the required materials. Is this accurate? Unfortunately, we cannot regenerate our cores. I mean, I've got a number of... I've got a number of machine cores already, if that's what you need. If one is destroyed, there is no way to Aww. restore it. We usually store our cores in safe places. But this time, the villagers had their cores destroyed as well as Damn, bodies. those those machines were out for blood when they attacked the village. <laughs> You're proud to be part of the potato sack. I still feel kind of bad for being too lazy to change uh, the alerts over from uh, our, our potato, our cow, well, our, what the fuck did we call ourselves? Why am I drawing a blank? What the fuck did we call ourselves, Trey? Trey, oh my god, Steven. The sofa taters. I kept wanting to say the, the couch potatoes, but I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, I still... <laughs> I still feel bad for just using all the same alerts and not changing anything over because I was just too lazy.
But I don't know. I feel like if we ever went back to doing sofa taters, at least personally, I feel the whole episodic thing we're doing was actually probably a little bit better. And more interesting than the, um, the whole live stream thing we were trying. Anyways, uh, is the factory safe? Fuck no. So is this factory safe? It was once occupied by a cadre of fellow machines that had gone berserk. However, to be took care of that threat, it is quite safe Yes, now. it is fairly safe. And we've been using it for storage for some time. All right. Uh, no, I didn't work today, but uh, I guess you could say I had a rough I had a rough day in my girlfriend's bed. <laughs> All right, we need more info. Still, we're gonna hole up here. I wish we had more info to work with. Proposal: Unit A two should secure the safety of Pascal and the children mm -hmm. immediately. What's the hurry? Haste is predicated on data obtained from the recently restored cross regional pods network. Wait, there's more of you? Okay. Affirmative. Cross-regional data reveals a large number of machine life forms amassing around these ruins. What the hell are you talking about? Like, they're coming to attack? Oh shit! What? What are they doing? They're electricizing. Alert! Enemy reinforcements are infiltrating the facility. I'll smash them before they can reach this room. You, you must let me help you. I will smash them up and kill uh, them. Chill, Pascal. I will smash them up and kill them. You, sh you sure you're not letting your robot instincts kind of take over there, talking like that? <laughs> That's so much uh, fun. It gave me memory problems. All you know, I'm man. Smacked my head a good couple times on the wall. It was it was a fun old time. Yo, holy shit! I just noticed how like how uh, how tall the white monument in the distance is. I never noticed that before. That's like some Xenoblade type shit, except not alive. All right, let's kill his army. We can sort it out later. Right now we have to take him down. We're going to take him downtown. There's a song for that. I don't remember how it goes. I was about to sing it, but I I'm, I'm just having too many memory problems today, apparently. I still need to play the Torner DLC too. I actually still have to buy the game again. I had I had the physical like special edition, and I ended up selling that at some point because it got me some pretty decent money. I, I regret selling it for sure. The box was uh, the box was gorgeous. To be fair, I can actually buy. I'm pretty sure I can buy the DLC as a standalone, right? Oh, what the fuck? Where did these tanks come from? Man, I just... I just started this damn stream! Can't you give me a goddamn break for a second? Don't you know you're not supposed to go 100% right off the bat? We are so found damn! See if I can do any dam real damage to these tanks. They, they be spitting the big balls. All the dodges! Okay. Okay, this this tank's almost done for. There we go. Get out of here. Oh, is that it? I just have to kill the one tank. Okay. Um. Hello. Oh no! Okay, we got some tanks flying in on us. They're still coming. Damn! What the fuck? Fear not, I can handle them. Pascal, what the fuck you doing? Yo, angels! 
Or is it a different one? I know there were like multiple models at the beginning of the game. Too bad a is not naked right now. <laughs> oh, Trey, you're naked. Damn, bro. I'm glad to hear that. Yo! We're playing as that gals! Let's go! Pascal, I'm, I, I you need to chill a little bit. I think you're letting your uh, your machine uh, instincts take over a bit there. Damn, he's so slow though. I mean, he takes out waves of them, which is nice. But is there anything else I can do? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting Pascal's a guy. <laughs> Boom! I feel like the, the side swipe is actually more effective. Oh wait, can I just walk into them and they explode? Hold up. Okay, so they do just explode when I walk into them. All right, cool. Uh, I might just kind of come over to the to the big flying Goliath motherfucker here and wipe him out. Or we can just have a cutscene. All right, that's cool. Is it weird to say that Angles kind of reminds me as of uh, one of the weapons from FF7, like the big walk, the big giant weapons? Oh. All right, we got um, another Angels. I'm sure they have different names, right? Angels Pascal. All right. Yo, this is sick. What? Boom! Oh, I got fucked up. This is like some kaiju movie type shit, but giant, or I guess giant mech movie. There we go. Let's go! Oh, right through the fucking heart. I did more damage there. Can I block? Hey, otherwise he... Otherwise he gonna hit me, man. Or not. Boom! Oh, there goes his arm. Oh, Pacific Rim. There you go. That's the best example. Oh, I think he's gonna hit me first. Yep. <laughs> Both at the same time. That was nuts. Yo, this music is so good. What the hell? Are you gonna? Okay, I thought I wasn't gonna reach him, but all right, cool. Oh, he's fucked up. Yeah, I've heard the second Pacific Rim movie wasn't as good, but it also wasn't the same director. The first, the first. Movie was directed by uh, Del Toro, right? And then I don't even know who directed the second one. You got bored in the first one? To be fair, I do gotta watch it again. I don't really remember it very well, but I remember enjoying it. <laughs> Oh man, this was sick. Dude, Automata is such a sick game. What the fuck? It, 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 it throws so many random things at you, but it does them all so well. Definitely very, uh, definitely quite a bit different from Nier, which I felt... Which I felt kind of did try to do the same thing. I, I gotta stop talking about Nier all the time, but... <laughs> yeah. Nier tried to do the same thing. And it was kind of mediocre in every aspect. With... Uh, it, w it wasn't unenjoyable, but it was like, yeah, it's all right. But this game, like, fucking aces everything it does. Like, damn. I fear for the children. Yo, let me move around, bitch. What the fuck? Also, I'm actually playing as Pascal now, too. But uh, let me just say that. I'm actually running around as Pascal. You know, lurk for a bit, Trey. All right, man, I appreciate you coming by. Thanks for, th uh, thanks for keeping my viewer numbers up. Can I run? No? All right. The next game after this will give me depression. Oh, man. I, I, I can't wait to get that video game depression. 
Yo, if if if, if a more if a more ends up committing me uh, ends up making me want to commit suicide, can you get? Uh, would you get arrested for? Um, oh, uh, hold, hold up a second. Speaking of suicide, damn. Damn, I was trying to make a very badly timed joke. Of course, they killed themselves. Damn, the segue of the century, <laughs> pretty much. A lot of these robots end up, end up hating their lives when, when they gain too much consciousness. Fear destroyed them. It caused them to take their own lives. Mm -hmm. If I knew this had happened, I never would have. What, what are you going to do now, Pascal? A2. I need your oh, you need, you need my aid too? <laughs> Please don't ask me to fucking kill you. I need you. I need you to my oh, oh, yeah. and if not, no. If Fuck. <laughs> I was like, God damn it. I was like, oh, that's not too bad. Ah, fuck. Like, immediately. Like, God damn it. But at, at least the first option isn't as bad. And it is an option. But even if we, like, if we delete your memories, wouldn't you just become like all the other machines and probably have to end up killing you anyways? Oh, man. If that's the case, it's like, would you want to become that? Would I want to see you become that? Might it, could it just be better to kill you in the first place while you're still you? Oh, man. But it's weird it happened twice. <laughs> Who said that? But no, for real, this is quite the... Uh, fuck, this is quite a dilemma here. Quite the choice. Is the game actually giving me this choice, by the way? I'm thinking hard on it right now. But is the game actually going to give me the choice? Or is it... Like, fuck. Uh... If I hit wait, does it just... It, it, does that mean I pick the option to kill her? Or is it just like... Be like Yo, alright, choose again in a minute. Alright, alright. So it might not actually be giving me the option. Alright, do it. Pod. Pascal's memories. Understood. Initiating memory deletion procedure. Oh, fuck. I'm actually doing a hack here. Alright. So we are. We don't actually. It doesn't. It doesn't actually give us the choice. We're. We're deleting our memories. Yo, this is fucked up. It's a Phineas and Ferb reference. I just changed it for the situation. Oh, okay. I've never seen Phineas and Ferb. Is it? Is it a good show? I don't even know that much. Yo, man. Ugh, why do you gotta give me like these little memory snippets? Everyone, everyone, you, everyone you know who's seen it really likes it. Okay. Memory deletion complete. Reset timer. Oh. You know what? I bet. Um, it, I bet I did have the option to kill her if I wanted to, but like, you know, like I physically just had to attack her. I thought it was like a choice, like an in-game choice. 
in all honesty, if I had actually, you know, thought to just physically hit the square button to attack her, him, sorry, I think I honestly rather would have done that. Is if he if he's just gonna become a violent machine, like uh, like like all the others, it's like it would have been better off just you know dying when he was still as himself, like how we remember him. I don't know. Either way, all we have now is nine S. No more no more choosing between the two of them. So so I guess uh, a two story here is done. I don't know. Uh, analysis, Unit 9S has destroyed the core of a resource recovery unit. Uh, he has obtained an authorization key. I do remember this, yes. In the... In the process, okay. But I'm concerned about his worsening psychological state. Care should be taken to prevent 9S from coming into contact with the Unit A2. Man, the pods are... <laughs> the pods are, like... <laughs> secretly, uh... Secretly plotting against 9S here. What the hell? Likewise, this pod will take care to see that A2 avoids contact with Unit 9S. I don't even know if the pods could do this, man. Alert. Abnormality detected in vitals of Unit 9S. Proposal. Commence data overhaul immediately. Pod, search for the other structural units. I need to find those authorization keys and destroy the tower. What are you doing, Alert. 9S? Combat inadvisable during abnormal vital conditions. It's fine. Run the search. Scanning. Actively operating enemy large structural unit detected in accessible location. Marking location on map. Ay yay yay, 9S. Alright, um... What is this? The Reconnaissance Squad. I don't remember what this is. Uh, even though your house squad has been destroyed, and since there's only so much he can do on his own, he has asked 9S for his help. Get a new enemy intel and give it to 4S at the forest. Oh, that's right. Yes, I got to kill new types of uh, uh, machines or something, right? I do remember seeing new types. Hey, I got mail. Oh, there's no access point here, though. I do remember seeing uh, new types of uh, machines in the forest as A2. I'm wondering if they'll be here as well. Oh, well, just hack them. That's right, I'm playing 9S now. Damn. Oh my god! Alright. Fuck, that was close. <laughs> Get out of here, you son of a bitch. Alright, let's see what we got for them uh, for the machines, yeah? A little bit too far. Yo, I'm still not entirely sure why uh, A2 killed the little uh, baby machine. When I think she had a thing where she was saying she wanted to kill every single machine. So I, I mean, I can't. So I guess I do know why. But like, damn A2. That baby was never going to do anything to you. Oh man, this music is so good. I missed I missed playing this game, man. You got 100% on escape from the city. <laughs> nice. Didn't get the FC because he strummed when he didn't need to. What is? Oh, FC is full combo. Man, you can get a hundred percent, but then there's still more than that. Like, <laughs> fucking Guitar Hero, man. Can you imagine F? 
Can you imagine FCing like through the fire and the flames? Has anyone ever done that? Um, uh, where even is this? Oh, it's all the way at the flooded city. Okay, it is that one. You know, I'll just head over to the to the flooded city then. Oops, this way, right? Yeah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> kind of creepy that the village is a little empty, no? What time? What time is this taking place? At? Is this like before or after the village got uh, attacked? What? The, well, let me hack this. Interesting. Have I ever listened to, to the fire flames on two times speed? No, and I'm not sure if I want to. That sounds like hell. That'd be a dead robo right there. Is this after? What time does this... When does this take place? Are we not play... Are, are these not happening simultaneously? Obviously, don't answer. These are rhetorical questions. Okay, where the fuck is this access point? Jesus. Oh, wait, what's up, Pascal? Oh, hello there. Such a nice, quiet place here, isn't it? No distractions at all. Pity about all the junk, however. I keep trying to clear Pascal's it. already had his memory wiped. Pascal, that's. Pascal? Oh, this is fucked up. Oh, man. Machine heads. Weapon? Wait, that's a weapon? <laughs> All right, let's buy it. Children's cores. The cores of children from Pascal's village. It is clear they are cherished by the villagers. Can be exchanged for money. <laughs> I kind of want to buy just one. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I can actually only hold one. All right. Uh, that makes me think maybe someone's going to want it. Oh, man. Uh, okay, well, at, at least Pascal... I thought Pascal was going to become violent after losing his memory. But uh, he still seems friendly, so that's kind of just seems to be ingrained in his core. So that's nice at the very least. I, I only have like barely over half the weapons. Trying to collect all the weapons uh, for the final route is gonna suck. Alright, uh, 110 to 160. I <laughs> Attacking with this thing has got to look fucking weird though. Let's check my inbox because I did get a new mail. Wait, yeah, what? Council of Humanity. As you're all aware, a recent large-scale offensive ended in crushing defeat, with the loss of our Yorha com compatriots being a particular point of deep regret. Long will we remember the brave sacrifice. However, do not lose hope, for the truth is that we, humanity's greatest army, still possess the upper hand. Go forth and fight for victory! <clears throat> not just for your sake, but for the sake of the fallen as well. League of Assemblymen, can this is fucked up. Here's another one. Uh, attention all androids. Thousands of years have passed since we humans were driven to the moon. Ugh. Lies! Lies! And while the war remains deadlocked, we know that our continued safety is only possible thanks to your valiant efforts on the ground. We ask that you continue giving your all to the mission of recapturing Earth from the scourge of the machines. Yeah, 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 yeah.
All right, let's transport over to the uh, flooded city. Actually, no. I want to make double sure that maybe see if any other side quests popped up. Maybe because I bought this children's head or not children's core. I'm still fucking pissed about this Holy Meals mem memories thing. I don't understand why I haven't been able to get that to activate. Uh, okay, yeah, looks like side quests are all Dunyan buns. Yo, did she just start that off saying Ishval? Is this bitch a Full Metal Alchemist fan? <laughs> beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. Uh, oh, hello. What are you doing here? You give me that easy, that that easy boy hack. Oh, okay, well, it was only a full recovery unit, anyways. No big dealio, McFeelio. There it is. Hello. This is the resource recovery unit. Now activating defense mode. You do you, baby boo. I remember the first first time I came over here as A2 and I was like, what the fuck is this giant thing? I'm glad I'm I'm glad that they actually have a purpose. Something written here too. It reads Soul Box. Soul Box. What did the other one say? I don't remember. Hurry it up, Mr. Elevator. I don't got old die. Thank you. Well. <laughs> Am I making y'all sick yet? I hope so. Because I'm just mean like that. Damn, could you run any faster, buddy? Oh, hello. Uh, I got a feeling this might be like a Pandora's box sort of situation, and they might all be sealed inside this box. Jesus. Fuck. All right, there we go. Free yourself! Or I just got the keys. All right, that's cool, too. Oh, I get it. I have to break the system protection before I can reach the core. Huh. So that's how it works. Oh, is there still more to this? I thought I got the key already. Wasn't that all I needed? I don't know. Okay. Is there any more on this side? Yeah. 
Ooh, Faith. Is the amount of chests I get in here dependent on the amount of machines I've killed throughout the game? That's interesting. Let's check out this this faith I got. Oh, that looks cool. By a loyal attendant. I mean, it's five hits, though, for the light. I mean, it don't really got anything on what I got equipped at the moment, but maybe, maybe once I level it up. Can we all just agree that Sonic games have the best music? Fucking absolutely. Yo, you remember that Zebrahead song? Uh, something about his world or whatever? I don't remember what it was called. Such a good fucking song. Whoa, whoa, this is different. Okay, hello. Took me a second to get acclimated, but I think I'll be okay now. There we go, get dead, yo. Alright, bring me up! Analysis. There are two blocking devices on this floor. Proposal. Pack into all blocking devices. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. I'm pretty sure it was. It was something like that. But yeah, I, I remember for sure that the band was called Zebrahead. Because I actually listened to quite a bit of their music outside of just that one song. Oh, I got like two different paths to go here. Interesting. You could go the more dangerous way or the safer route. And if I took the more dangerous way, it probably got me past those enemies there. So it's just whatever way you wanna you wanna go, ho. Hoi! <laughs> okay. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Live and Learn is still the best Sonic song. Eh. It's pretty damn good. Uh, my personal favorite might actually just be Escape from the City because I'm a basic bitch. Uh, I guess we're going over here, yeah. The guys who did L Live and Learn were called Crush 40. Crush 40, interesting. Sounds like every uh, pop punk band from the 2000s. But yeah, what shit, bro? What the hell? Why my stream do this to me? What do you gotta say to yourself, Mr. Stream, huh? What do you gotta say to yourself? You being a bad boy? I think you deserve a, a, a spanking, Mr. Stream. You gonna do this shit to me? I don't fucking think so. Where's my, where's my wooden spoon? I don't got one here, but I'm gonna whoop your ass, Mr. Stream. I rolled over a cord. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back in my ass crack. Let's go. Don't know what happened there. I apologize. Let's keep playing. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. If it, if it does, I'm I'm, jump, I'm jumping off the twenty fourth uh, story balcony and surviving because I'm just built different. Uh, 
This is gonna be fun. Fuck! There we go. Oh, fuck that shit. Do I remember Power Man 5000? I do, actually. Uh, I was actually just reminded <laughs> about them the other day. I used to fucking love Power Man 5000, man. Their Doomsday album. I don't remember the exact name of it, but that album was my jam back in the day. I'm trying to remember the name of my favorite song. Ah, uh, fuck. It's not coming back to me at the moment, but yeah, I I jammed to I, I used to jam to a lot of Fire Man 5000. Are they still around? I don't know. Anyways, what's this outline? Uh, tower system outline. Uh, the tower, the tower facility possesses, uh, processes and computerizes resources sent by resource recovery units for use in its launch device. Made up of 256 stratum. It can filter and compress information with a turbidity of less than 2300 and have it recorded into the payload in approximately 27 minutes and 32 seconds. Details regarding routes required for the digestion of androids are recorded separately. Okay, none of this means anything to me. <laughs> cool. That huge structure is some kind of launch platform. A structure that size could probably shoot something into space oh, pretty easily. Interesting. So this is some kind of cannon aimed at the human server on the moon? Insufficient data. Huh. Cannot confirm or deny. Damn it. But why? Why would you want to shoot something at the human server on the moon? There are three blocking of course there's three of them. Yeah. And I hack it. Oh, one world collide, man? Fuck yeah. That shit was that shit was da bomb. Oh, this music, let's go! Can I go? Hello? Alright, whatever, fine. What do we got here? All right. Ow! Rude! Who do you think you are doing that to me? No, we go again. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, what were some other good rock bands from the 2000s? Uh, it's too many, man. Too many. Evanescence? Everyone's, everyone's still remembers Evanescence. Fuck. Oh, what? Oh! I gotta take both sides before I can... Okay, I see. Got it. Uh, yo, how about Thousand Foot Crutch? Did you ever listen to Thousand Foot Crutch, man? I used to, I used to love them. Ha <laughs> Fuck! You remember that name, uh, Steven? I actually saw Thousand Foot Crutch live in concert once. Uh, probably like... Five six years ago, it was a it was a it was a dope fucking show. It was also a free show, which was great. <laughs> Fuck, they played live at the. Um... Oh yeah, we were at the same show, Trey. Yeah, they had a free concert at the Forks. Oh man, I lost my shit when they played uh, Puppet. It's my favorite song. It was my. F I'm playing so terribly right now. 
Welcome to the Masquerade's a good song. Uh, Puppet's always been my favorite uh, song by them. I lost my shit when they started playing that. I It's the first time I ever moshed. <laughs> it's first and probably the last time. other way. Carly Rae Jepsen was free at the X once? Really? Carly Rae Jepsen. The, I mean, it costs money to get into the X, so I wouldn't exactly call that free anyways. I don't think I've ever actually seen a uh, live performance at the X, though. Never bothered with <laughs> Hold. Okay, can I actually kill you this time? My homie? Okay. Fuck, Jesus. You met her grandma? That's random shit. Is her grandma cool or what? They usually have a be I usually have a Beatles cover band. Man, that's boring. Get some originality. Not that I don't like the Beatles, but like you gonna do that every year? People are gonna get tired of it. Get um, get a perfect tool, man. That's a that's a cover band of Tool in a Perfect Circle. They're actually they're actually legit too. He can beat Evanescence cover band? What the fuck? Her grandma was chill. She was a volunteer at the elementary school. Did Carly Rae Jepsen live here in Winnipeg? Justin, you can be the lead singer. Hope you can sing Going Under. <laughs> How's that song even go? I can be I, I can be the one hot guy in the music video for um uh Call Me When I'm Sober. Oh <laughs> you can do the save me parts. Man, y'all are wildin' tonight. Fuck, man. Ah, oh, why am I why am I doing these so bad? Hey, big lover, how you doing? I'm in Route C right now. I'm at one of the uh, resource towers or whatever. Ah, oh, fuck. Just trying to uh, do whatever the fuck I'm doing with these resource towers. Uh, I'm sad because Pascal's village got destroyed and they all then committed suicide and that was a whole thing. A2 is hot as fuck, by the way. I actually like her more than 2B, not gonna lie. <laughs> Did I really just run into the- ah! I'm playing this so bad! Root C, you said? Maybe. Oh my god. You're not sure if she grew up in the city or not. So who was, uh, so who was her grandmother then? If Carly Rae, if Carly Rae Jepsen's grandmother was a, uh, was a volunteer at our school, was her name Miss... Mrs. Jepson? I don't remember any Mrs. Jepson at our elementary school. <laughs> what the fuck? I swear I haven't always been this bad at the hacking. I don't know what's going on. You unironically like Carly Rae Jepsen. To be fair, I don't think I've listened to much of her music. What is she famous for again?
Oh, she's from Vancouver. Okay, interesting. Oh, Carly Rae Jepsen did Call Me Maybe. Okay, okay. That makes sense. The only reason I really know Call Me Maybe is because I know um, Josh Ramsey of uh, uh, Mariana's Trench actually wrote that song, I believe. Or he wrote it or he produced it or something. He had some really big hand with it in that song. Which is fucking wild to me because I hate that song and I love Mariana's Trench. <laughs> She was only there when you, when you volunteered there as well. But you volunteered at you volunteered at our, at our um, elementary school tree for what? I didn't even know about this. Finding new things out about you, man. You're in a Manitoba League of Legends server, and they haven't gotten you into the league, but they did get you into a... They did get you into Carly Rae Jepsen? What do you mean? <laughs> like, you had a little fun, fun time with Carly Rae Jepsen? Is that what you're saying, Steven? You hit that shit? Fuck, bitch. Oh, you helped up Mrs. Robson. Oh, that's cool. I used to help up Mrs. Robson too, actually, but that was, um... Well, not Mrs. Robson. No, I helped up Mrs. Templeton in the, uh... In the junior high li In the junior high library. I didn't want- I didn't want anything to do with that, uh... With, with that elementary library, man. <laughs> Okay, I'm playing like shit. Speaking of uh, Mrs. Templeton and school, see, I think I still have it. Yeah, when I graduated, because I was doing um, helping out Mrs. Templeton so much, uh, she actually gave me uh, this book, which was my favorite book at the time, Dragon Rider by Cornelia Funk. And it was sweet because she actually wrote. Uh, I'm not gonna show the really let you guys read it, but she wrote a little letter on the inside. In uh, with in pen, you probably can't see it on the on the webcam, but yeah, it's sweet. I still I still keep this because like sweet <laughs> memories and shit, you know. Yeah, that was back in the, that was back that was grade eight, man. That was junior high days, middle school days for those in the U.S. Fucking weirdos. <laughs> Mrs. Robson did the junior high at the time you volunteered? Oh, that's weird. For me, it was Mrs. Templeton. You know, to be fair, she was getting quite old from what I remember. Maybe she retired. I'm not really sure. Anyways, let's, let's get back into the game. Let's get back to sucking at this whole... Oh, uh, th this whole thing. Paul's chasing me. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> Mrs. Robson actually got you a book, too. It's a fictional book called Canada. <laughs> Nick Lover. Yeah, we still on this hack, bro. I've been dying a lot. Did you miss my whole spiel about how, like... God damn it, I just ran into the fucking wall. I guess you're popping in and out, which is cool. I just had, like, a whole, like... Like, emotional thing about, uh, junior high. Yeah, y'all y'all are distracting me too much in the chat. But I mean I'm sucking ass too, just generally, so. And there's that. Alright, I can take two I can take uh two hits. I, okay, I can take one hit. <laughs> Fuck. You remember you volunteered in your grade twelve year. So long after you were students. Oh, so that was after you were students. I was still I was actually still going to that school when I volunteered. 
I think I used to volunteer mostly after after class. Yeah, I I uh, I didn't. I was just there like helping her put books away and stuff. I wasn't able, like interacting with people signing up who wanted to sign books out and whatnot. I did that back in high. I did that in high school actually. At my at my high school, I volunteered in the library and actually uh, helped put books away and would help people check out books and whatnot. I was a library boy. And I applied for a natural library position, and they turned me down. Because apparently I didn't know shit about organizing books. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? I've been doing this for years, bitch! I'm gonna I'm whip your librarian little ass! The whole time the whole time I'm whipping your ass, you're just gonna be telling me to shush. I was saying I'm whipping it too loud. Okay, I really thought I was gonna win that time. Because <laughs> I got there with no hits, but fuck. I got a little too greedy. You remember being stuck on the sack for a while, too? Thank God it's not only just me, then. I don't know the Dewey Decimal System. I should! I mean, I did! Fuck, are you kidding me? Justin only knows the double the, the double D system. Yes, that's a, that's all I know. No! Oh fuck! <laughs> all right, all right. We're gonna try to get it this time. I got, I haven't gotten hit, and I shouldn't get hit on my way up there either. Unless I'm dumb. We got this, boys. Fuck. Fuck. All right. It's starting to. It's, it's starting to. It's starting to get on my nerves. Pro gaming time. You know what I'm talking about, Trey. It's serious time now. Let's do this. Oh, oh, fuck. That was close. I don't know how I didn't get hit there, but damn, all right. You think Mr. Johnson and Mr. Reynolds are still at SMP? I heard Mr. Reynolds or, or oh no, no, I'm thinking of Mr. Hildebrand. Hild Miss, didn't Mr. Hildebrand retire like right after we left? Uh, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Reynolds, I don't know. I I know Mr. Johnson was in a band. I don't know if he ever decided to go full time with that. He uh, he actually gave me one of his CDs, <laughs> which was pretty sweet. He told me he was in a band one day, and I was like, oh cool. He's like, I got a CD. I was like, can I listen? He just brought it in one day. He's like, you can have it. I was like, yo, that's, that's sick. I didn't end up liking any of their music. Unfortunately, but... Yeah, Mr. Johnson was legit. Oh, oh okay, there's my first hit. Oh, we got it! Alright, alright. I got a little too excited. Oh, Mr. Hildebrand went to Arthur Day. What the fuck is Arthur Day? I've never even heard of that school. But, uh, that's cool. Yo, do you remember the anger issues Mr. Hildebrand had? <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone watching this VOD later. <laughs> Not knowing what the fuck we're talking about or who the fuck we're talking about. Trey and I are legit just two, like, real-life friends talking about real-life things right now. And that that's okay. But yeah, do you remember Mr. Hildebrand's fucking, like, anger issues? Like, bro, when he- he- he would pop the fuck off. 
Like Jesus. Uh, Alright, I think this must be the last... Uh, the last hack of this floor. Hi. Hi. I remember him sticking his ass in my face whenever he helped a student next to you. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Hey, Mr. Hildebrand and I used to talk about music a lot because he was a bit of a metalhead too. Um, he didn't really listen to anything like super extreme like I did, but like he listened to a lot of rock and a lot of metal, and I always thought that was pretty cool. Hey, okay. All right. Yeah, let's go. Remember that dusty ass chair he had by the radio in his class? Uh Oh, you're talking about the couch. It was a couch, bro, like straight up. I do. Oh man, I used to chill on that couch all the time. Oh, bro. I forgot he even had, I forgot he had a radio in his class too. Oh, those are the good days, bro. Even though I don't really have any good memories of uh, elementary and junior high, that was one. Of, that was one of the few. All right. So what's this? Uh, the following document details the final stages of Project Yorha. Oh, okay. Note that this document has been marked with level SS confidentiality. It should not be disclosed to any Yorha personnel, including the bunker commander. Bruh. This is more top secret than, like, humans being extinct. <laughs> so what the fuck is this? Oh, wait, this is... Oh, okay, this is about the black box. All right, I've been wanting to know what the fuck this shit is. All right, so each Yorha unit is equipped with a black box, an item created by reusing the core of a machine life form. As such, it can be said that the consciousness of Yorha units and machine life forms share the same structure. That's fucked up. Said black boxes were installed after determining that it would be inhumane to install standard AI and androids that are ultimately destined for disposal. Bro. For the record, malfunctioning black boxes have caused some Yoha units uh, to turn hostile. Bro. That's fucked up. So all androids are, are ultimately destined for disposal? What the fuck? So much of our old teachers passed away. Really? I know I've heard a about a couple of them. Oh man, that shit's sad. Don't get don't get me sad on stream, bro. <laughs> we can talk about that shit later. Uh, but yeah, this this is uh, this old black box that goes fucked up. The consciousness of your heart units and the machine life forms share the same structure. That's fucking weird. from the machines that's no that can't be true oh my man 9s about to have a fucking full-on psychological breakdown i mean he kind of already did when he saw 2b get killed but i'm talking even more hardcore thanks pod <laughs> much appreciated I'm gonna hack this bitch up. Oh, whoa, we got a whole full load going on here. All right, what's this? Uh, okay. We're straight up 9S in the hacking realm. The, the, the shadow hack, the shadow realm. What's going on? What's going on? Are my memories. Oh shit, this is looking like the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 3. What's going on? Is that 2B? Are we going to fight 2B?
Mrs. Mueller. I I recognize that name. It's two beast data. Uh, you'd have to remind me who she is. Yo, what's up, 2B? Turn around and bend over, please. <laughs> Show me that cake, girl. But still. <clears throat> no, don't. Don't do this. What's that? Is 9S losing his memory? Or Damn it, stop! Bro, this is fucked up. Stay the hell out of my goddamn memories! These belong to me and me alone! Get away from them! Yo, this this voice acting is on point! Alright, so this feels like the um this feels like the Eve boss fight just blocks. Can I hack this bitch inside of this hack? I can, okay. Hackception, let's go. Ooh. All right, let's fuck this bitch up. There we go. That's the teacher who was with Josh all the time. She gave him. Oh, that's right. Yes, I do remember. My affinity with the pot has risen. What? Hello? Let's try another hack. I think I took out most of its health with that the first time, so. Hacks aren't even that hard, man. Come on, give me, give me, give me, the, give me the tough shit. Yo, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Y'all almost hit me. Yeah, I, I know what you were talking about, Trey. I do. I, I remember Mrs. Mueller now. Yeah. You're going down. Yeah, you, you really did go down. Oh, damn. Yo, 9S. Chill. Yo, that was so fucked up. <laughs> Give me that tough shit. Yo, chill. Pretty much. Oh, did that turn into a laugh? That's when you know he's going crazy. Well, at least I got the ocean access key. But, like, damn. And what's going to happen now? We're going to switch back to A2? This is the current status of Unit 9S. Affirmative. His mental state has become dangerous. I wonder if the pods are just going to, like, Action must be taken are just going to try to kill him. I noticed something while providing support to A2. Enemy machine life forms have begun sharing data with mm -hmm. each other. We better look into that. I'll share the data with you, so see what you can find out. Affirmative. I also have a separate report about 9S. What is it? I'll share the data. His psychological state has deteriorated to a grave level. We'd better handle that quickly, too. Agreed. Sup, pods? Not sure what <laughs> we should do, however. Agreed. As robotic lifeforms, they seem to be a little bit socially awkward. With data checking and maintenance. Agreed. I will make the suggestion immediately. Alright, you do that. You did hear the, oh, a piece of candy bit playing... Kingdom Hearts 2 earlier? Because Hades slash James Woods. I'm a little confused what you mean, Steven. Where's the next resource recovery unit? Alert. NFCS failure. 
Speculation. Failure caused by intense combat and lack of maintenance. Your field controls are down? Great. Proposal. <clears throat> Overhaul system at resistance camp. I don't have that kind of Of course you do. You're Alert. just being stubborn. Entering battle without a functioning sword constitutes an unacceptable risk. Unit 9S should have Devola initiate repairs at the resistance camp. Shit. All right, let's go talk to Devola. I'm always I'm always fine talking to the twins. Oh, you're right. Yes, I do remember that. Uh, Family Guy is not a show I generally try to remember. <laughs> because, uh, I'm just not really much of a fan. But I, I do remember now that you're uh, now that you're really uh, bringing it back up. Yeah. Can I still transport? I can. All right. Uh, you know what? Actually, probably can't just because of how fucked up I am right now. But I just want to double check that there's no new side quests hanging around. Yeah, I didn't think so. I still got this one. I don't really know what to do about the reconnaissance squad. All right, let's just uh, let's just go talk to Devla. Whoa, what the fuck? Hold up. Let's get back. All right, let's get back. Oh, that's cool. How it's like glitching out. Yeah, because I was in that in that state where he was kind of getting like Ew, affected or whatever. That's cool. That's a nice little touch. All right, let's go to the resistance camp. Yeah, I remember when Brian died for two episodes. Yeah, that was so stupid. Like, wasn't that supposed to be like a big change? And then everyone kind of just everyone was like so fucking against it for whatever fucking reason. So they were like, forget it, bring him back. I love this song. Her voice is so soft here. What do you mean I can't access it? I just want to do it. I just want to do a thick save. What are you talking about? All right, all right, cool. Man, I love the way they look in this game. Uh. Why are they giving me that stank guy? I'm amazed you were even able to drag yourself here. This is gonna take a bit, so just hang tight. All right, whatever you say. This is terrible. Your motor cortex is full of holes. I can't believe you even managed to walk here. Yay! That was easy. What are they fucking magic or something? All right. You're all the hell was that, Devola? Cool. All right. Nine S. I need you to promise me something. Don't die alone. I don't think 2B would want that either. I know. Whatever. I'll try my best, girls. Now, Brian is the worst character in the entire show. And they <laughs> you wish they kept him dead? Damn. I think it was done on purpose because nobody was really watching the show. Your dad still watches it. Oof. That's rough. When Quagmire has to go off on Brian, you know something's wrong. Yeah, no fucking kidding. Alright, uh, so what the fuck am I doing now? Pod. Mark the next resource recovery. Damn, chill! Chill, bro! Just rest up, give it a minute, man! <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, where am I going? Oh, the park ruins, okay. <clears throat> Lego. Lego. My ego. Hmm. 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 I'm just being weird. Don't mind me.
Uh, just quickly checking some, some. All right. Uh, I'm thinking it's just in the front. Yeah. So let's head back over here. Man. Is everyone, is there like smoke and shit here? The, hold up. This looks a little bit different than last time I was here. I know it was already a little fucked up. Last time I came here, but how are y'all doing? Y'all still like weird zombie things? You'll be the one. All right. Whatever you say, buddy. Yo, is that Jean-Paul? No, I don't think so. Oh, is it gonna show me wherever? Oh, wait! The whole building became what? Did it take over the theater building? Over and over. Machines were. Damn, these guys. Yeah, these guys got fucked up. Why are people hype for more TLA stuff if most people didn't like core? Because people still love TLA. <laughs> and more TLA is more TLA. <laughs> End of story. That's the way I see it anyways. That language again. Yo, God box. What are these machines doing talking about gods? Yo, this is gonna be crazy in here, isn't it? All right, let's go. This sword, by the way, this has to be a Final Fantasy reference, right? It totally looks like uh, one of the swords that Cloud would use. It even has the holes for, like, uh, materia slots in it. Like, come on. It has to be. Oh, we're loading into a new uh, thing? Did this happen last time? Hello? Oh, sh oh, okay. Pod, why did the machines attack Pascal's village? Wait, well, uh, oh, no. mandatory uh, check that booty. Nice. Let's go. The hell? Huh? Is that the uh, the tower that Nine uh, S just went into? It is okay. Okay. Man, I, why that shit so loud though? It's all the way at the park ruins. The hell was that? Large structural unit of machine life for origin activated to the east. A large what now? What the heck is going on around here? A lot. There's a lot going on here well, too. Let's go check out this large structural unit. Uh, so I'm assuming we're just going to the. Uh... Yeah, we're just going where 9s went to. I I thought the pods were trying to keep us apart. No. I don't know, man. Let's go. Some people hated... Yeah, yeah, those people are ridiculous. Korra is not a bad show, by any means. There's a lot to like about Korra. It, and it just... I mean, it didn't quite live up to The Last Airbender, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinions. But it's not bad. It's still a good show. Just... TLA is just on another level. <laughs> That's all it is. People, people who are like, "Oh, it's not as good as TLA," therefore it's fucking trash. Fuck those people. They are a scourge, and they should just be purged from the community. End of story. They're, all they're doing is hurting the franchise. Oh, okay. We're doing, uh, we're doing these quick slaps. Shut up. Negative. 
This support unit is assigned to your home <laughs> S. As such, being concerned for said unit's well-being is a requirement. <sighs> Whatever. What's going on here? Hello? Whoa. Yo, that's creepy. That's creepy. This reminds me of uh, in Majora's Mask when you're at the first temple, the uh, Woodfall Temple, and you have, there's that one black room and you have to fight all the um, all the little black, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, little black uh, dust bunnies that kind of blend into the room. This reminds me of that. Except uh, this is more creepy. Yeah, yes, Trey, you really need to start watching The Last Air and Damn. I don't know if I've told you before, but Full Metal Alchemist is my favorite anime. The Last Airbender is my favorite animated TV show, period. It's it it's that fucking good. You know nothing from Majora's Mask? Well you should change that, man. Majora's Mask is also my favorite video game. Whoa! Where the fuck did these balls come from? Get your brimstone ass laser out of here, boy. I should hack more. There we go. You'll watch it after FMA then? You please do. Too stupid from Majora's Mask? <laughs> the fuck does that bring? But I wouldn't say Majora's Mask is hard. It's just a little different. You just you just need to get used to how it works. All right, we got we got the Luits. I'm hacking this motherfucker. He's too much, a little too much going on there for me not to hack him. Bada bing, bada boom, get the fuck out of my room. What the fuck was that attack I just did? Hello? That was cool. I collect all my spoils. My spoils of war? <laughs> yeah, homie. Oh, we got more still. Alright, fuck this dude and his electric shield. I ain't having it. As soon as you introduce time travel, your brain doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. What am I targeted on right now? Got that spam hacking going on.
Nice. Yeah, fuck that shit. Let's go. Talking about time travel kind of reminds you of how reminds you how a lot of series use it as an ending or a last resort. Yeah, it, it can. A lot of the time, it does feel like a do as ex machina. As oh, it was just fix everything. They got fucked up because it's easy. Time travel, right? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the time it's like all right. Th thank you, and not don't thank not thank you for going that route. <laughs> Even Endgame did that. Well, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't really call it a Deus Ex Machina in the terms of Endgame because the whole the whole movie was built around it. And I, to be fair, I think a lot of. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of the first phase of Marvel really was uh, leading up to uh, discovering time travel anyways, right? With, like, you know, like the time stone and everything. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't mind it in Endgame. I thought it was pretty well done. Who the fuck's still alive? Oh, it's this son of a bitch. All right, let's go. Can y'all like stop existing? Thank you. Yeah, that's true. There were losses in Endgame. It wasn't just like, yo, we discovered time travel and just wasted everything. Endgame changed. Endgame did shake uh, shake up the game, so it's good. Bro, I cried so hard at the end of Endgame. <laughs> I'm sh I'm a little ashamed to admit it, but I was a blubbering fucking mess. It wasn't even like a little like teary eyed. No, I was like bawling. Usually, it's used to undo things at the level of the uh, whole thing was a dream narrative. Yeah, kind of. What the fuck we got going on here? Is this gonna spinny spin? Oh, the floor is gonna spinny spin. Okay, all right, all right. All right, we got the chode machines. Oh fuck yeah! Cab using Mjolnir, Mjolnir, or whatever the fuck is pronounced. Hell yeah! Man, now I, want, now I want to watch Endgame. Why do you do this to me, man? Endgame's too long. I don't have time for this shit. the guys who are standing up here I kind of have to hack, right? I don't, I don't think I can actually jump up to them, can I? No. Oh! Okay, cool. Wrong guy, but whatever. It works. And the Marvel hate is strong now, and it's annoying. Yeah, I don't really get it. Marvel, Marvel is solid, man. Like, yeah, sure, they're all blockbuster movies, but they're blockbuster movies done right. As far as block, as far as a blockbuster CGI popcorn flick goes, they are very well written, and there's nothing wrong with that. Can I, like, target onto his ass? There we go. 
I guess I actually had to stand a little bit further away <laughs> in order to be able to target. How does that make sense? You know, I still I still gotta watch um, WandaVision. I actually haven't seen it yet. I've heard it's pretty good. Yeah, I don't understand why people... A lot of people just seem to hate Marvel for no reason. It's just because it's popular, right? There's always going to be those people. Man, why well, you got to get me the cr up against the wall like this, bro? There we go, Jesus. Are oh, we good now? All right, cool. Yeah. Oh, you enjoy you enjoyed well written games and movies a lot, but something doesn't have to be masterfully written to be enjoyable. I I agree. I I, I absolutely agree. It it doesn't have to be like a story doesn't have to be like like some masterfully written like drama that's like. You know, super deep. Like, it doesn't always have to be that. Like, it, it can be just, you know, well-written. Like, it can just have, you know, like, compelling characters and just... It doesn't have to be, like, a masterpiece in order to be like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> I hate people who are, like, fucking uh, snug like... S snug like that. Snug is not the right word, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. WandaVision's great. Oh, I'm good. glad to hear that. I really should check it out. I just haven't really given... I haven't really had the time. Uh, I've actually I've actually been really busy lately. Uh, mostly just hanging out with uh, Joe. She's uh, she's actually become a delivery driver for the same restaurant that I work at, and she has a thing with like she has pretty bad anxiety. She to the point where she doesn't even like driving by herself. So I've most of my most of my days are actually just spent uh, with her, just driving around doing deliveries. And then if I work later that day, she drops me off at work. And then I just go home and I sleep. <laughs> That's my whole day. And sometimes I'll try to wake up like super early and squeeze in like a two or three hour stream. And then I'm up for like like 15 straight hours on days like those. Today was nice because I didn't work. Model 2. Model 2. Oh, yo, she cute. I do like me a blonde bitch. Operator? Yo, she got some titty. That's a lot of robots. Uh, machines, I'm sorry. Alright, let's go. Oh no. So this operator model is affirmative. Operator two one oh. Volunteer to undergo type B equipment Ooh. transition during previous descent. Sent to front lines as unit two one B. Recorded as missing in action four hours huh. later. Oh okay, there's actually a specific one there. Let's hack that bitch. What the fuck? Yo, did my earphone disconnect? I played through my computer. Hold up. Thank you for farting on me, though. I really appreciate that. But that should have played through my earphone for sure. What the hell? Oh, it, it did. What? It did disconnect. What the fuck? Wireless earphone. I trusted you. Hold up. Gotta turn this bitch on. Come on. You mind connecting? I'd really appreciate it. The fuck? <laughs> Yo, that's so loud. <laughs> Yo, who played that? <laughs> Y'all are probably hearing Mad Echo. Come on, Trey. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. All right, y'all are y'all are wild now. Look. Oh shit. There we go. Okay, I got my wireless earphone connected now. That was fun. It's like, I don't know. Y'all are wild then as soon as you realize my earphone disconnected, but it's like... I, it's like, I feel like you guys don't wouldn't want to hear that echo <laughs> from my mic picking up the sound. I don't know. Y'all are weird. Spam them till it connects. The fuck, guys? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Sarah, hey, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> I always forget that I have the, uh, <laughs> the Degenerates National Anthem. Well, yeah, how you doing, Sarah? Welcome. Glad, uh, glad, to, uh, glad to see you can make it up in here today. I'm sorry I wasn't really able to stay around for uh, your stream the other day. Oh, fuck. All right, cool. I'm good, I'm good. Fart and then porn up opening. <laughs> no, fart porn. Yeah, man, you know I gotta look up them cake farts. That shit's my jam. Oh, you got from work. You got home from work too long, not too long ago. That's cool. How was uh, how was work today? You got to be tired from doing both work and school, right? I imagine. Oh my god! There we go. Jesus. You got to sleep. Fuck you, Trey. Ain't no ain't no sleep allowed. That's all right, man. Have yourself a good night. Yeah, that's true, and streaming as well, man. Like, damn, Sarah. There we go. Sleep is for the week, been up since 8 a.m. 8 a.m. is not that bad. Most days I wake up around 6 or 7. Um, not that I'm trying to compete with you, but... 8 a.m. is like a respectable kind of time. You had to wake up at 3 a.m.? Oh yeah, would you do, uh, probably one of the days where you had to open uh, the restaurant, uh, Steven? Also, damn tray, that sucks. 5 a.m., that's rough. If you gotta wake up at five, you should have gone to sleep like an hour or two ago, bro. You know, ever since I worked night shifts, I've kind of gotten used to the idea that late, late or early isn't really a concept. It's kind of just what people have gotten used to. Uh, it's like. Late or early, it's, it just depends on your schedule. Like, you can have, like, a normal... You can have, like, your own schedule that... Like, let me put it this way. When I worked night shifts, I were, I would wake up at around... I think I worked at 11, right? I would start working at 11. So I would, I would wake up around 10 p.m. Uh, I would, you know, scarf down something small to eat, whatever, and then make my way to work. I would work from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Then I would go home. I'd relax for a while. I'd hang out, do whatever. See Stephanie off to work because she would wake up at she would wake up at like seven thirty to go to work, and I would have um, I I would have some dinner at probably like eleven twelve p.m. <laughs> maybe a little bit later, and then I would go to sleep at two two p.m. and then I'd wake up at ten and I'd go to work, and that's like you know to me that was like a normal schedule because that's what I worked. So it's like the 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 whole idea, the whole concept. Of waking up early, waking up late. That's not really something that exists. It's it's different for the individual. Like, every single person 
has a different work schedule and has a different life schedule. So it's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> let's play let's play video games. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm just happy I don't work night shifts anymore. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Flooding your apartment spitting all these facts. That's gross, man. If, if, if by fact spitting's getting all, getting all the way over there, you should check, um, you should get your apartment fixed. Well, let me, uh, let me hack this bitch real quick. There we go. 60, 60 XP. What the fuck was that? Okay. Yo, she's getting fucked up. Is she even fighting? Okay, she is. You wait, was this my operator? The 210? Is it? Was this 9S's operator? Oh man, I didn't realize she was such a cutie. I don't want to. I don't want to hack her right now. I want to hear all the voice lines that she has. Is she going to have anything more to say? Yeah, it seems like she might be done. Remember, remember when you and I did maintenance for like a month together? You had a pretty consistent schedule too. Yeah, that shit was fun, man. You seem to forget this. Uh, but you're at, you, do you remember that you're the one who trained me on maintenance when I first started at McDonald's? And we worked together for a long time. Uh, back then, too. And, I don't know, last time I talked to you about that, you seem to have, for, you seem to have completely forgotten that. Rip, get out of here, 2 one s You're cute as shit, but you, you gotta go, girl. Man, what the fuck? She's so cute. What the hell? Oh! 2B? Oh, it's A2. Of course it's A2. <laughs> That's right, A2 made it to the to the tower. Alright, chill, A2. Fuck, man, she's ruthless. You always used to make the joke that you trained people on maintenance despite the fact that you never were properly trained. I mean, that wasn't really a joke, man. That was truth. You never had proper training. She told me she wanted you to become a good person. All right, yeah, good person. You don't you dare talk to me about two feet. Yo, damn. Oh, hello. What the fuck? All right, Mr. Machine. Uh, I guess we're playing as A2 now. Are these multiple machines working together now? Yeah. August is this guy's name? Interesting. Big brother, what the fuck? Who, who is your big brother? Oh, there's a little dude here. There's a couple little dudes. All right. I'm killing a whole family right now. This is... Come on, man. Yo, I'm killing the Gus really fast here. I, I kind of want to see if he has any other voice lines. Or if the little ones do. Okay, well, rip. Oh, are they eating him? Or are they just mourning? Y'all gonna be okay?
Remember, like, back when I played Versus 9S, I played as the robot with the bucket? That was them? Oh, was it? Oh, shit, I didn't even notice. I thought they were, I thought they were wearing top hats. <laughs> Justice? That's a good trophy. It's just ice, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was top hats, man. Pod 042. Contact initiated between uh, Pod 42 and Pod 153. Uh, what's the matter, Pod 42? Uh, this protocol is not interface intended for conversational use. Acknowledged. However, this pod has a confidential transmission for Pod 153. Understood. Begin transmission. An error has been detected in the transmission network between Pod 42 and Pod 153. Hypothesis. Said error is fragmented data caused by deterioration of the transmission environment. It may be so. However, it may also not be so. Message unclear. Clarification requested. After repeated information exchanges uh, between multiple pods, an unexpected phenomenon has occurred. We pods have developed unusually protective feelings towards support targets 2B, A2, and 9S. Query. Could this be our will so they're getting they're gaining feelings <laughs> for for their androids very interesting okay the definition of will is unclear will is the question of whether pods are capable of their own self-determination even if it were possible such actions cannot be abided successful uh, successful mission fulfillment is all that matters yo is pod 153 gonna like end up killing pod 42 Whatever the case, we tactical support units have a duty to see this through to the end. Duty? <laughs> you, you sounded like an android just there. Agreed. But just as androids are influenced by humans, so are we tied to our creators. Perhaps. Pod 153. Do not die. The concept of death has no meaning to tactical support units. However, your expression of concern is appreciated. I also hope that you do not die, Pod 42. Oh, they're so cute. Is there like a little love story going on between um, the pods? I dropped my controller. Ugh. That's kind of cute. What the fuck? There's got to be some uh, some rule. Uh, what's the fuck's the number? I don't remember anymore. There's got to be some porn of, of, the, of Pod 42 and Pod 153, right? Not that I want to see it, <laughs> but... <laughs> It must exist, right? <laughs> Physical check complete. Memory check complete. Maintenance mode complete. Yorha unit 9S. Activate. How you doing, 9S? And yes, Steven, I did think I was finding a bunch of fancy robots for your information. Am I... Analysis. The enemy structural unit collapsed during battle. Unit 9S suffered damage from the fall and was placed in emergency For how long? mode. Fall location was deemed too dangerous, thus said unit was transported to Oh, the okay. All system checks and reactivation complete. Operator. Operator model 210 is deceased. Ooh. Black box signal not found. She deceased. Oh. That bitch gone to heaven. Situation report. Hey, that's important. That's good at least. So, so now the fuck what? The required number of authentication keys have been acquired. The tower is now open. Oh, the main tower. All right, all right, all right. Good. Uh, where the fuck am I? They'll just go through here. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not, right? No, this way. Oh, here we go. That was pretty quick.
What's up, Mr. Robo dudes? I don't feel like fighting you. I'm good, actually. Uh, I kind of want to save point, actually. Uh, hmm. Is this save point still here? Oh, you know what? I think it might actually be. Okay. Okay, GG. Boom. Get that thick boy quick save. You're gonna stream too, Sarah? Alright. Um, have a good stream. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate the lurk. Maybe I'll rage you later. We'll see. If I fucking remember. <laughs> Alright, let's see what the fuck this tower is about. Nani? Uh huh. We apologize for the inconvenience. But locks on each sub unit must be deactivated before accessing the main tower. All right, fine. Let's do it up. And then I have to hack it. All right, let's go. These are gonna be some hard ass hacks, aren't they? Yeah, and I got like no time. That wasn't too bad actually. Nice, nice. Yeah, if you if that's actually possible, Steven, could you make a, a raid reminder command? That'd be awesome. I don't know, can you do that as a mod? I don't fucking know. Come on, hack that shit, there we go. That was easy, come on! Give me the hard shit. Yeah, mods can make commands. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. That's real cool. Am I just trying to get to the end with this one? Yeah, okay. Come on. Easy peasy. And, but of course, as soon as it gives me a hard one, I'm going to be complaining like a motherfucker. Boy. I look forward to seeing what the fuck is in this tower. Uh-huh. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh man, what the, the? It went back down. Is is A2 gonna come by and help me fight them? That's the only way, right? Yeah, okay, I knew it. Or. Oh! Oh! Wait. You. Oh, hold up. <laughs> that, that, li that line was such. That line was such a throwback to OG near. I love it. Oh, what'd you do there, Steven? Add a command. You must specify command name. You shouldn't fuck with us right now. All right. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, Devil and Popol are badass. What are you doing here? Remember your promise? What are you talking about? Come on, Nines. Hack in while you can. None of this all right, makes all right. sense. We'll explain everything once we're inside. Hold them off! 
But the difference in this game is that they're working with me. Oh man, what the fuck? I love this game so much. Yo, they're strong too, what the fuck? Oh, they're dropping the big boys. Oh, that was close. Devil up, Popola, come on. I'm assuming it's scripted that they can't hit me here. There we go. Oh, it looks like I don't have a time limit, which is which is nice. Oh my god! Fuck. Oh, was it slowly fading into the ape music? Oh, I didn't notice! Fuck, I'm, I'm a big dum-dum. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, there's still more? Oh, man. What the fuck? Yeah, what is this barrier? Uh huh. Go diggity, what the fuck, man? I'm just out here trying to play some goddamn uh, ching tang video game and uh, motherfucking uh, disconnecting it and uh, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> You're not going in at all. That's my, uh, that's my Boomhauer impression. It was pretty bad. I don't think we missed too much. What happened? It's the barrier. Oh! Yo, pull. But you didn't do anything. It was different models of you. But if you do that, your circuits will. Devil Are the two of them just gonna die in every fucking game that they're in? Devil up. I hope you don't regret this. Oh man. Is she okay? Devil out, okay? I mean, Popola, not Devil I don't want to see them die again. <laughs> it was already heartbreaking enough in OG near. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Yoko Taro? Uh, alert. Data records discovered for units Devil and Popola. Do you wish to open this data now? Ooh. Uh, yeah? What's going on? A dusty wind kisses my cheeks. Buried in sand, we press forward one step at a time. We have nowhere else to go, after all. Because our models, the Devola and Popola models, are defective. Record, transitions in the project's initial phase. When we first woke, there were still people. They had flesh, egos, emotions, souls. And they issued us a single order. Function as servers of Project Gestalt. This is the sole mission of the Twin Devlet and Popola models. Uh-huh. Yeah, we know this from Moji Nir. It's the only reason we exist at all. We were the latest model, though many companions shared our appearance. 
There was a sparkle in all of our eyes, a sense of pride at having been entrusted with humanity's future. And yes, there was anxiety as well. But we existed as a pair. We shared destiny's burden as a pair. And because of that, all hesitation was swept away. Each pair was given their own cities as observation areas. We were ordered to guide the replicants with our own hands, all for the sake of the promised time that would one day arrive. As a pair. <laughs> Devil and Morphala just... Morphala? Did I just say Devil and Morphala? <laughs> God damn it. Devil and Popola just morph together into like a fucking like pear-ass fruit. That'd be funny. <laughs> we were the only ones who could handle such a duty. We were observers after all. Uh, watch out. Devila staggers and falls in the soft yet unforgiving sand. I hurry to her side and sigh with relief when I find she's not seriously hurt. Are you alright? Sorry, sis. I guess I spaced out there for a bit. So, what, she fucking just tripped over a rock or something? <laughs> Jesus. Excuse me. She smiles the, the same, right? Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. I, I don't know if the mic picked it up or not, but yes, I did toot a little bit. All right. She smiles the same bright smile I know so well as she rubs absently at her leg. It is wrapped in a white bandage. Your bandage is, uh... Your bandage is coming undone. Da, da. Is coming undone. Da, 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 da. It's a corn song. Let me change it. <laughs> it's all right, Popola. Come on, we have to go before we lose the light. We won't be going anywhere if the sand gets into that thing. Now quit whining and hold still. I'll be quick. Devil grunts and turns away. I take it as consent. Soon, we are resting in the shade of a nearby rock as I pull the bandage free. Artificial skin, torn and bloodied, peeks out from beneath the bandage. Judging by Devla's current lack of ambulatory control, I imagine the circulatory underneath has been damaged as well. Taking a deep breath, I... Uh, yeah, no, check the circuitry, what the fuck? As expected, wiring in the nerve circuitry has been damaged. Replacing it will require new connectors as well as some tools. None of which is easy to find in a desert. Sorry about this, sis, mutters Devila. That wry smile again. It kills me every time. Don't you dare apologize, I respond. You have done nothing wrong. I calmly change the bandage, trying not to let my worries show. I make it as tight as possible, so no sand can slip inside. It's all I can do until I get the proper materials. But that's going to be a tall order, considering our current condition. I'm sorry, sister. It's okay. Now you're apologizing. We both apologize while insisting the other's apology isn't necessary. Uh-huh. It's kind of funny in a way. Such a trivial exchange under such circumstances. We laugh together, the sound echoing out across the desert before being stolen by the cool evening wind. Report regarding the increase in relapses. Ooh, yes please! There has to be some way to prevent relapses. Devilish sharp voice echoes through our private quarters. You must be quiet, sister. The replicants will hear. They wouldn't understand even if they did. That might be true, but regardless. Annoyed at my hesitation, Devla crossed, crosses her legs and scowls. The black scrawl took another victim, she says. That's three this month. It's spreading way too fast. Let's wait and see what happens. I'm tired of hearing you say that. Her, her shout makes me jump. Just a little, but enough for her to notice. Seeing that, her eyes suddenly open wide. I'm sorry, sis. It's not your fault. I shouldn't have lashed out like that. It's okay. I understand. 
it's all going wrong. You can feel it too, right? I... When I was first assigned to Project Gestalt, I was over the moon with pride. But now, my chest hurts just to think about it. If it were to fail... Before we knew it, the replicants had gained a sense of self, and the Black Scrawl started raging out of control. It moved fast. So this is pre... pre-OG Nier right now. Uh, yeah, so it moved fast, so fast, like a wind. Popola and I would go to the observation room and act like it was all okay. We talked to the replicants as if we didn't have a care in the world. But at night, we'd just hold each other and share the horror of it all. Excuse me. I'm glad you were with me, murmurs Popola. I couldn't have handled being an observer all alone. We were able to endure because we had each other. I reply softly. Did the humans see this coming? Is that why they made me a twin model? Were they really so clever? Were they really so cruel? I couldn't have done this by myself. I would have descended into madness. I simply couldn't bear such a burden alone. When I get the chance, I'm going to try contacting another city, she says. Maybe these abnormalities are a localized uh, phenomenon. Yo, there's a typo! They forgot the quotation marks at the beginning of the last uh, quote. Oh, spicy! <laughs> it's not a big deal. I just, my brain immediately noticed it. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Kotaro, get some of the fucking proofreader games. What the fuck? Oh, I guess it wouldn't be Yokotaro's fault. It would be the, the fault of the translators. The fuck, translators? I, I pray that's the case, I reply. Even if, we're of no, even if we're of no use ourselves, things will still work out if the other observers can pull through. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. But it wasn't okay. I wonder if we're actually going to talk about uh, near at all. Nothing was okay. All thanks to a pair of Devla and Popola models from another town. The wind rubs my cheeks. The sand grazes my skin. It's grown cold out here. We walk with renewed purpose, hoping to make up for lost time. Devla loses her balance every now and then. It gets bad after a while. I slip myself under her arm so she won't fall again, and we press on. <laughs> Yo, my fucking throat, man. <clears throat> Is your leg alright? <coughs> well, I doubt I'll be dancing anytime soon, but yeah, it's fine. She smiles as she says this, but I can tell she doesn't have much left. And yet, she continues to smile, all so I don't worry. I remember when our resistance allies injured her leg. I was furious, beyond fury. I wanted to scream and cry and lose myself in it. But then she smiled and all of that rage just drifted away. Like the Uncle Cracker song, Drift Away. <laughs> to think we have the same face, yet such different smiles. One day, I realized how she reminded me of the martyrs I'd seen in old records. There was the day... Oh, that was the day we decided to leave our town forever. Oh, we, we had a pair of Popola and Devla models that deserted. Ooh, here we go. The record of Project Gestalt's end. Yes, please. Our role of observers ended on the day uh, Project Gestalt collapsed. All due to the actions of Devla and Popola models from another town. With the original Gestalt lost, which was the Shadow Lord and OG Nier, humanity was doomed to, ine to an inevitable extinction. Knowing this, we gathered what remaining replicant data we could find and launched it to the surface of the moon. Okay. So that's... That's where the idea of the whole, oh, humanity is on the moon idea came from. Alright, gotcha, gotcha. And though success was, was as unlikely as finding a lost sand grain in the desert, we still had to attempt it. We still had to try. We were androids, you see. Protecting humanity was our instinct. Other androids, beholden to that same instinct, began to direct their hate at the Devla and Popola models who'd snuffed out humanity. Yeah, but they died. Didn't they? 
Or at least Devla died. To be fair, I guess we don't really know if Popla died, considering Emil survived that blast. Well, I don't know. It started small. A few offhand remarks, the occasional glance. But even the smallest things have weight. And with enough of them combined, that weight eventually becomes a boulder. Emotions boiled over. Remarks became jeers. And soon enough, my sister and I were the perfect target for persecution. At first, we simply accepted the fact that our friends turned on us. It was almost unavoidable, I suppose. We were observers for Project Gestalt, after all. And while we didn't cause it to fail, the people who did, well, they looked just like us. So we accepted it. So what, the other Devla and Popola models just decided to pick on a random pair? Like, a pair, a pair of models who didn't even have anything to do with the fall of Project Gestalt. They're just like, yo, we're gonna single you two out and we're gonna pick on you for like the rest of ever. Just so you know. <laughs> like, how fucked up is that? What the hell? <laughs> we accepted it, we took the resentment and scorn we endured. Because as crazy as it sounds, I think we actually felt responsible. We moved from town to town in an effort to avoid persecution. But in one such town, my seemingly infinite patience finally broke. Uh-oh, what did you do? My sister, Devila, met with unprovoked violence at the hands of a resistance member. She said something in response to his taunts. Something quiet. And though her words were ambiguous, he slashed her leg nearly into Jesus Christ. Some fucking people. That sentence would sound terrible out of context. Which one, Steven? I'm gonna let you reply while I actually take a super quick break to grab something to drink because this is all this reading is killing my throat. Oh, what did you do, my sister? <laughs> Come on, man. You got better jokes than that. Where, 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 where the fuck do you think I am from? Somewhere down south? I don't, we don't do that up here, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be back in like two seconds. I'm just going to grab some milk. Uh, that's some good, uh, that's some good cum in my glass. Incest, incest joke didn't hit? I laughed, didn't I? I don't remember. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Let's get back to this. Alright, more, uh, more reading, more visual novel type stuff. Let's go. Popola and Devila's memories. Let's go. Wait, uh, yeah, so you, uh, is the dude slashed um, Devil's leg in two almost? Uh, my vision narrowed. Everything went red. And then she smiled at me. Excuse me? But. Oh, hold on one second. 
just want to quickly shoot a message to uh, somebody real quick. Uh, my vision narrowed, everything went red, she smiled at me. It, it's okay, sis. There's nothing we can do. But it was too late. My emotions were no longer in my control. I'm simply not strong enough to stand aside and let the most important person in the, uh, person in the world come to harm. Devla and I left the town that same day. Violence like that wouldn't stop. It was going to happen again. And it wouldn't be coming from just one person. So, rather than let them kill us, we ran. I guess it was the greatest resistance I could muster. Yeah, so they deserted. They fled. Ugh. We lose the sun as dark clouds gather overhead. We continue a march. A cold wind blasts us, stealing what little body heat we had left. I smell rain in the air. We continue our march. Sometimes we hear animals howling in the distance. It makes us flinch every time. But we continue our march because this is better than suffering at the hands of our fellow androids. Why must we suffer this persecution? I know we're the same model as the androids who doomed humanity, so I understand that part. At least a little, anyway. But at the same time, we're not them. We're not the same. We are who we are. And that Devla and Popola were who they are. That's how I felt when I saw Devla being hurt. I wanted to shout it at everyone. I wanted to scream. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one Devla. And for her, there's only me. No one can take the other's place. Rain falls from the sky. It stimulates our sense in it, it stimulates our sensation nerves like cold needles. <laughs> we need maintenance badly, but that's a pipe dream, I suppose. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But <laughs> all the burps. Jesus. Uh, no Android would dare help a pair of outcasts like us. Are you cold, Devila? I'm all right, as long as you're with me, sis. I feel the same. We press our bodies together and try to retain heat. It's cold now, much worse than, than the searing heat of midday. But we just smile at each other and keep pressing on. There's another camp on the other side of the desert. A new camp. If we can just get there, I can finally fix Devila's leg. And yet, I wonder if there's anywhere on this planet that will take us. Hey, what's wrong? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. I do what I can to suppress the anxiety in my chest and keep walking. The rain grows worse. It lashes at us without pause. Is this our punishment? I reach out and, uh... Ooh, 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 motherfucker. Ooh, uh, support our body. As long as we have bodies to support one another, as long as I have someone with whom to share my fate... Then I will press on, no matter what happens to me. Because I won't ever stop protecting her. I won't stop. No one stop. Oh. Ooh, is that another OG reference? OG Nero reference? For that is the fate we twin androids have been assigned. I feel like that's a reference to Popola screaming, uh, you know, when, after Devla got killed. When she screamed, no one stops. No one ever stops. One of my favorite lines from uh, Popola in that game. Ah. Is it the end of the memories? Okay, okay, cool, cool. Uh, the failure to manage the area resulted in the collapse of the Gestalt system, which led to the decimation of the human race. Yes, it did. Due to the discovery of its instability, the twin system was removed from uh, future Android production designs. Following the incident, the Devla and Popla models were not dismantled, However, in order to prevent further unexpected behavior, uh, they underwent a memory wipe. Furthermore, they were reprogrammed to generate constant feelings of guilt. Good God! Oh, why would you do that? 
Jesus, that's horrible. That is all that remains from their personal record during the era in which they were referred to as Oh, I feel so traders. bad for them. I see. Query. Why do the androids Devola and Popola seem to prefer death over surviving? Wait, alone? is this the whole tower right now? It's a very high probability that at least one could have escaped. I hope you never have to understand. Affirmative. Uh Query. Why does this tower possess an entrance? Hold on. Ah. All material transport takes place via aerial vehicles. It is irrational for an infiltration route to be so easily accessible. Hypothesis. Entrance is a trap. Hmm. I'm actually gonna do a quick uh thick save, because it does it is saying that saving is an option right now. Uh bimbity bobbity boobity boop. This one. I've put 40 hours in this game, man. Man, this is not a short game. <laughs> I don't care. I just have to kill them all. Oh, man. This is wild. What the fuck? What am I looking at? Okay, okay. I'm liking this. This is interesting. We're getting some good ass materials here as well. Is this, are we at the end of Route C? Is this is, is this Route C end game? Corrupted your unit. What? Where? Hello? Oh shit! What's up, girl? Uh. Wait, is that Popla? She looks like she got the same hair. All right. Maybe not. Wait, that's 2B now. What the fuck? What is going on here? I'm getting pretty close to the end. Oh man, I love Root C though. I don't want Root C to end. This is fucking wild, bro. Oh my god, what the fuck am I looking at? Oh, okay, I thought I fell. Let's try hacking one of these things. Does it give me anything interesting? Interesting, okay. Out of here. At least he's uh, at least they're pretty easy to kill. Hello, and thank you for choosing Tower. Uh, you're services. welcome. We're so pleased you've chosen to visit the tower uh -huh. today. Don't forget about the special prize for the guest who unlocks the last subunit in the room just ahead. You're going to love <laughs> I'm sure I will. There you go. I guess 9S did kill you. What is this it? The, uh, the sub room or whatever? Okay, a bunch of 2Bs. Cool, cool. This is creepy as fuck. 2B models? I like how they're just staring at him. They're not even doing anything. Good to see you here. I truly am. I'll tell you oh, I reveal? It. Even though we saw it at the end of Rude A and B? <laughs> okay, 9S. I don't think he's, he's not doing too hot. All right, I'm thinking I should probably spam egg. There we 
go. Nanas. I think you've kind of officially gone off the deep end, buddy. Yeah, let's just well, let's just keep hacking, I guess. Fastest way. I think we're almost done here. Got one left. Let's go, girl. Boom. Get killed by my pod. That's what I'm talking about. Alert. Enemies detected. Still a few stragglers, huh? Just looking around. Where are these stragglers? Here? Oh, man. You okay, buddy boy? Are you hurt? Explosions aren't good to take at, at face value, you know, at point blank. Alert. Oh, the shit. structure known as the tower has opened its gate. Oh, it's okay, cool. Now we're going to play a two side with her with her going into the tower and um all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Are we gonna see what happened to Devil and Popola? Or wait, no. Oh wait, what the fuck am I talking about? No, we met at the uh, at the tower at the attractions, at the at the attraction square. But yeah, this is already opened. Uh, oh man. Went ahead and opened the tower. Nine S is already inside. I see. Oh, is Pop is Popola dead? Oh man. Uh, we nine. I see. Say. What's up? Did we? Did we? No, not at all. Not in the least. Y'all actually uh, did terrible. You did. So what you're saying? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You say anything else now? No. Okay. Uh, we nine. Oh, we nine. I see. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny, but yeah, man. <laughs> exactly. Whoa. Actually, I'm gonna. I guess I can't move while this elevator is. Uh, I can't save while the elevator is moving. I guess that's fine. Let's do a thick boy save real quick. Right, at least this tower area isn't like a lot to go through, so I should catch up to where I left off with 9S pretty quickly, I think. Is it even gonna throw Yorha units at me? I guess not, since This is a Yorha yeah. corpse. Hypothesis. The corpse is likely a result of mm -hmm. unit 9S's advance through the area. Okay, that's what I thought. So it's just, it's just gonna be a pretty nice uh, stroll through here.
I could probably finish the game, the entire game. I don't know about that, man. I still gotta get all the all the weapons, don't I? I only have a 61% of the weapons right now. What's the purpose? Oh shit! Of this when did this get destroyed? Proposal: Gather additional data. Someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. Let's make sure we're not missing any of this stuff. Oh wait, I don't have to collect all the five and all the all the weapons in this game, really? Oh, dude, that is such a relief. Oh, thank God. I hated having to do that in all the other games. What? Oh, my medium recovery is full. Okay. Thank fuck. Also, there's five endings. It's a, this is only the third one. So there's still two more endings after this. Yeah, when I heard you say that, I was wondering if you were trying to get all all the endings or something. I mean, I want to get all the main endings at the very least. Three of the endings are in this area? Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Now, no more information. <laughs> Alright, what's this about? No! What? With the music too? What's up with this place? Hypothesis. It is yeah, no shit. Of a library. What's that? A library is a data storage facility constructed by past humans. I feel so bad for the people who didn't play OG near first. Oh my god. Why is this here? Why is this here? What's this? I suppose we have to hack in to look at the data. Oh, I'm not, I'm not my ass. Oh, I guess Pod can just do it by himself. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Let me look around a little bit. Ugh. Oh man. Oh man. What the fuck? I just want to look around. I, I just want to look around at the rooms first. Hold on. Let me save. Just in case going into one of these rooms actually triggers like a you know, continuation and these data, like, orb light things are just optional. Get the fuck out. They're, yeah, they're the bosses from this game too now. Oh, that's so cool. I can't examine them at all. Okay, but that begs the question, like, why? Who's making these? <laughs> well, I think it was Devil, actually, wasn't it? Or Devil or Popola? But why are they still being made? Is it just, like, an automatic thing? Interesting. Because it's not even, like... In OG and Nier, it at least felt like some sort of a trophy collection. With this, it's like, you just see it at the end of Route C, man. <laughs> All right. Holy fuck, bro. Devil and Pope are uh, at least Popola's room, anyways. In the library. Don't let me run. Alright, here we go. Alright, so yeah, I guess. This is what I have to do. Alright, let's do it. Is it gonna be memories or something? Jesus, fuck. Alright. At least there's no time limit. I kind of want to just look around a little bit. Is there anything in any of the other any of the other corners? Not that I'm expecting there to be. I 
Okay, okay. Oh, wait, what? 15 ports, you know, ed okay, so there's Adam storage, Adam unit storage record, Eve unit storage record, Yoha communications interception record. There's just records for like everything. Human server, human server establishment, human heritage preservation, the tower, special units creation, man. Even plant species, okay, so preservation. So it's keeping plants and animals alive. It's not creating plants and animals. Fuck. Thank God. This tower looks like a data gathering system for the machines. So did Devla and Popola create this tower? This is so interesting. Okay, I gotta find out what's uh, the barrier for this thing. Come on, there we go. What, hello? Is it these four, is it these corner blocks? Yeah, they seem to take two hits, maybe. Alright, that makes sense. Oh, here we go. Uh, human server records. Outline predicted human server infiltration route release. Dummy protection installment map. Genetic storage warehouse location information. Okay, so it's just records of random things. None of it really makes much sense to me, but okay, cool. These records are from the human server. Ah. Machine. The machines hacked that deep into the system, huh? Wait, so this is all, like, machines? Like, machines gathered all this information? Why would the machines model this area after the library and OG Nier? Hmm. Lots of questions. I mean, obviously the main thing was that, you know, you know OG Nier callback. But this is, like... <laughs> this is, uh... This is Yoko Taro we're talking about. There's more of a reason to it than that. There has to be. There's there's probably some lore behind why this is here. Oh, fuck. Uh, class 1 patient. Yona! Whoa! Chest x-ray, no, no abnormal... Abnormalities, heart echo, no abnormalities, continuing chronic renal failure, convulsive seizures in the diaphragm, no vomiting. Is this after, is this while she was when when she had the black scrawl while she was relapsing? The patient's condition makes further treatment impossible. A report will be submitted to the management committee detailing courses of action in the event of the patient's death. Focusing primarily on how that information will be manipulated with respect to the original. As backup, in the event of a worsening, of a sudden worsening in the patient's condition, she will be to assigned. She will be assigned to five additional doctors. Okay, yeah, you wanna got fucked up, man. Oh man, I don't wanna. I don't wanna read about how you wanna eventually died. Some records on old humans. Damn it, this is useless. There's too many of them. Oh, man. Is there nothing else? Oh, there's one here now. What's that? Are we gonna get? Are we gonna get to go down in the basement? I want to see what that basement looks like. I was mad that I could never go in there <laughs> before. All right, what's this one? Operational summary of model number two in Project Yorha. Oh, we got a we got a legit cutscene here, boys. This data. Oh. 
Uh, hey, what's up? What's up, sphere thing from Incredibles? I don't remember what it was called. <laughs> How you doing? Let's fight, I guess. Oh, fuck, man. Jesus. Or we can go back to 9S. Who's now missing an arm? What the fuck happened to you, man? Oh, the explosion. That's right. That 2B model self-destructed on him. Yo, she got some luscious lips. Oh, 9S. Uh? Nine S. Oh, okay, that's cool. I guess he could just do that. <laughs> I mean, he needs an arm. I didn't know he could just attach it to himself like that. All right, cool. He has an arm now. Mmm, makes sense. Hack into self and Yo, give me this item first. God damn it. On it. It won't even let me move anymore. Alright, let's do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yo, this virus is intense, yo. That's it? Alright, let's go. Boom. Easy peasy. 95 is pretty good, I think. So what isn't restored then? Am I a little slower? A little less health? Okay. I know I'm going backwards, but I just want to look around. This is so beautiful. What the hell? Wait, am I going backwards? Let's check back in here. Oh, I guess it is actually the only way out. All right, cool. Can I climb these? No, kind of. Aw, oh, come on. Let me climb up. Y'all are boring. Let me Breath of the Wild this shit. Oh, let's go see what's over here. Uh, yeah, huh? Oh, okay, it's these fucking girls. What's the deal with these girls? Welcome to the tower. Hello. Welcome to the tower. You bastards. Because you made it this far, we have a special announcement. Uh-huh. We'll reveal it once you destroy all the machine life forms here. Destroy the red girl's assassin. Assassins. What, so they're here trying to kill the red... The, the girls? Also, this music is hype as hell? Hello? Oh my god, this music! There's gotta be more coming, right? That can't be it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oof. I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna go the easy cheap way, hack everything in sight. Okay. 
kind of funny how popular Tubi is, despite the fact you barely actually play as her. I don't know if I'd say that. I'd, the first uh, route A is probably the longest route, I would say, at least out of the ones I've played so far. And then you do play, you do play as a mix of her and 9S at the beginning of Route C. But no, yeah, a good, probably like a good half of the game you play as other characters. And it's wild that it's wild that I actually didn't even know that. I thought 2B was just like the main character of the game for the whole game. <laughs> Got some small boys, but that's fine. I'll hack them anyways. This is kind of more like 9S's game. Yeah, you know what? Maybe. You might be right on that. Fuck, there's a lot of them. Give me that machine core, baby. Now, why do I gotta keep targeting the ones for hacking that are, like, super far away from the group? I need to be hitting the ones that are, like, right in the middle of a bunch, so that the, uh, the stun hits all of them. This'll work. Oh, I actually feel kind of bad for this one dude on my uh, on my Twitter who uh, said he had played near Tomita and he finished Route A and he just he couldn't bring himself to beat the game again through Route B. He didn't see the point, and I was I was like I told him I was like dude you gotta do it. <laughs> Top secret your heart disposal disposal interesting. But yeah, I told him straight up I was like you gotta do it, man. Like there's so much more to the game you don't understand. Just keep going. I tried so hard to convince him. We'll see if he actually picks it back up. All right. This is Project Yorha. That means all of us. To be. Now you know everything. You still well, wish to fight. What did it say? Your hard dispo like disposal. Are they just gonna like? Are y'all meant to die? We are conceptual human personalities created within the machine network. We cannot be destroyed. Interesting. Your unit nine S. Your attack is meaningless. Your existence is meaningless. Shut up. Conceptual human it's created within the machine network? Is that what they said? So, like, the machine network created these, like, human identities. That's fucking wild. What the hell? Dude, why is Root C so crazy? What the fuck? Keep them coming. Oh, okay, we're fighting them in their flight units now. Yo, let's let's hack into these flight units. Yo, let's go. Oh my god. There we go. Jesus. Go get dead, yo. You trying to Star Fox barrel roll at me, bitch? I don't think so. Jesus. Get your brimstone ass laser out of here, son. I don't want it.
There we go. So each, I think each of these are taking two, uh, two hacks to kill, right? Nice. That's probably the easiest one here. This one's pretty easy too. I don't know. They're all, pre they're all pretty easy, honestly. I think you're kind of meant to hack into him, huh? I mean, the combat doesn't feel very fair. <laughs> Get food. Nice, nice. Get out of here. Oh, wait. Am I actually going to get to take the flight unit? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Get the fuck out of there! Jesus. I don't know what I expected, but fuck. Oh, 9S, nine, nine my son. I feel so bad for you, my brother. Oh, shit. Okay, we're playing as A2 now. Back to the Incredibles spear thing. Koshi, alright. Doesn't seem too bad. Are you really gonna are you actually gonna do anything other than fire those missiles? I got as saving as possible right now. We're like, sure, buddy. What the fuck? Hello? Oh. Okay, okay, basement time. Always wanted to see what was down there. Not that I'm really expecting it to be an exact replica of the original basement. Can you let me actually go up the stairs? Where'd it go? Oh, it just disappeared out the roof. Damn, son. All right. Holy shit. It's so bright. Can I... Hello? Thank you. Power up part L. I probably should be looking at all these new chips I'm getting, huh? I've kind of just been blasting through. Uh, customize... What is this power up part L I got? All chips?
That's the same as what I got equipped already. Just want to see... What is that power up part L? Hmm. Okay, well now we're back into the HUD stuff. I must have whatever. It's not a big deal. It's fine. Let's go hit whatever the switch is and see what happens. Oh, it's a book. It's a book. Hacking into it. All right. Damn it. Alert. Enemy hacking detected. Proposal. Retreat immediately. Enemy hacking into me. How dare they? Who do they think they are? Who do you think? You are! Oh, it's these two. Alright, what's up? What is with you two? Interesting. Oh, we're fighting now? I mean, I'm not gonna fucking try. Come here, you little, you little red girl bitches. I don't know either. Letting them spawn in? Consciousness data saturation rate 30%. Okay, so we're oversaturating their consciousness basically. It's also very getting a lot harder to dodge. <laughs> Resemble each other so, but we are networked in 
Whatever you say, buddy. Hypothesis. The enemy's defensive system is prompting an evolution of its logic. Foolish androids. Why do you resist? All things end with accepting death, do they not? Because unlike you machines, we have we have feelings, we have emotions, even though it does seem like some machines do kind of to an extent. But the androids more so. Uh yo, step on me. <laughs> Consciousness data saturation rate, 90%. Oh shit, she's even bigger. Okay, this is getting creepy as fuck. Uh huh. <laughs> Thank you for that hypothesis. Please don't. Stay right here, please. And also stop attacking. Consciousness data saturation rate one hundred percent. Hypothesis: the enemy's consciousness has begun to. Ooh. There we go. The pot is the protagonist is in every root. You know what? You're not wrong. We need more evolutionary pressure. My ass we hurts. <laughs> to continue living. We can create even more hardship for ourselves. Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. We disagree. This android is dangerous. Yes, there's too much evolutionary pressure in my ass, Stephen. It's horrible, I'm sorry to say. Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. Whatever you say. You ah! truly think you can win. What the? Analysis. The saturated consciousnesses are now in conflict huh. with each other. Huh. Okay. They're acting like humans. How about that? We literally fractured their consciousness into two, like, uh, divides. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Fine. It works. <laughs> Yo, this one right here is, like, fucking bossing it. Come on. I'm putting my money on you. And now I'm guessing I gotta kill her. Oh, you see that warpy effect? That was cool. What the hell? Now we're moving faster, okay? Where the fuck we go? Hello? Welcome back, Koshi. How you doing? Is this thing seriously still kicking? Speculation. It is driven by remaining data located. The fuck? Where are you all coming from? So this just keeps going until I kill them all? Yeah, so it's gonna keep going until you blast them the Metallica album and kill them all. What was it saying? It sounded like it was saying something. Androids. Okay. I mean, I filled up my girlfriend's hole earlier. Does that work? Does that count? Also, I cashed in my bond at the... Um, at the bank earlier, I got a lot of money from it. My 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 grandparents created it like like seventy years ago. Oh wait, I'm, okay. I thought I was still cutscene. Let's go. Yeah, 
Oops, I did not mean to use that. <laughs> uh, holy fuck, there's too much going on? I wish I could actually, like, turn around, you know, that'd be nice. Okay, so this thing can fly, too. Three disconnects in three hours? Man, what the fuck is going on? Why why you keep doing this to me? This is abuse. Just call 911 on your ass, Twitch. The fuck? You're abusing my mental state. <laughs> well, let's finish this. Uh, that's a question I couldn't answer you, buddy. God. Let's, all right, let's take all these goddamn Beyblades. They're not that tough. That's what I'm talking about. Back to this. Are you telling me or are you telling the, the machines? Oh, what the? Oh, I can hack too. Oh my, I didn't even think about that. All right. That'll make this much easier. Yo, chill, chill. Hacking takes a long time with uh, with A2. Actually, she can't even hack here. Interesting. Never mind then. Oh, that was fast. Alright, let's get back to this.
Nice, nice. Holy fuck. There we go. Oh boy. Bam back here. Of these snaky boys. Okay, there's too many of these things. What the fuck? Are they actually a threat? Maybe I should just focus on Koshi over here. You got your little ball ass motherfucker from the Incredibles. Which syndrome would you need him, huh? Koshi even showing right now. I'm seeing his health bar, but oh, he's right here. All right, what's up, Koshi? Yeah, this is just so back and forth. Shit, let's do this. No. Yes, good. Smart robot. Smart machine. Asking all the deep questions here, huh? All the all the deep feels is reals questions. Let's try hacking them. Oh my god! Ah, fuck. Try again? Fuck, alright, whatever. It's all G, I guess. On that one, man. You gonna run away again? Can I just kill you, motherfucker? Like, oh my god. All right, let's go again. Oh, okay. Back to flying again, all right. Jesus. Not gonna lie, this is starting to get a little tedious. Okay.
Yeah, I knew there was going to be another switch. Oh, oh. He got his health back. All right, what is going on? Oh my God. Hack into this bitch, do some real damage. There we go, nice. He pulled his dick out, pretty much. So this one's his tail, huh? At least it looked like it. Oh my god, alright. Do I gotta do something specific? Alright, this is a little bit different, though. Like a physical spinning attack when I'm flying? What the fuck? I never even noticed. All right, here we go. Cutscene. Jesus. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, that that got a little bit uh mm. repetitive. Hey, what's up, man? S. You doing all right, buddy? Dude, what? Koshi and Roshi. All right, fuck. Got Master Roshi over here. Of course, of course, he's over here looking like a pair of boobs. Cause why? What else? Can I switch to 9S? Can I hack him? Oh, whoa, what happens? With some white fuzz. Oh, wait, I am playing as 9S now. Oh shit, look at that. Okay, cool, let's go. I guess the game just answered my question for me. It's like, oh, you want to play as 9S? Alright, here you go. Nice when the game actually does that for you, huh? Okay, now I'm a, now I'm A2 again. Dude, this 8-bit theme is so sick. Hacky hacky again. There we go. Holy fuck. There we go. That wasn't bad, actually. It looked bad, but nah. Get out of here, Roshin Koshi. Pug gets so strong, my boy. 
Oh, that looks so cool. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server mm -hmm. on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? Oh, matters. nice. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be well, killed. Of course. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain oh, really? of time. The commander. Me. To be. Sacrificial lambs. Oh, oh shit. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you, you know, laugh? I don't... Nice. We I don't really blame Lioness for kind of going off the deep end here. He's been through a lot of shit. Each other. To be hated, to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the Nines type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover. Cover for what? The official designation is 2E. Number 2. -D. Wait, whoa, whoa. They were a special class of members designed to execute your high units. Oh sh what? But you knew that. Right, Ninas. I remember type E from that one uh, side quest. Shut up. <laughs> what do you know? Oh fuck. You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal, cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod 153. I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Holy shit. Okay, let's go, I guess. Honestly, at this point, I gotta go with A. I gotta go with A two at this point. Wait, I wonder if this is this for different endings. Do I do I gotta go through that whole boss fight every single fucking time? I want like if I want to get the other ending. Oh Jesus fucking Christ, Lord Almighty! <laughs> that's that's gonna be fun. No, I don't. I can get to this part with chapter select. Oh. Thank God! <laughs> that was tedious. Alright, let's go with A2 first, I guess. Alright, 9S. Oh, boy. Jesus. He's using, like, all his different pot abilities. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Jesus. Yo, this music is fucking weird. What the fuck? Oh, so close. So what? So 2B, hold on. So 2B was actually 2E, which was... Oh my god! A line of... Ah, damn it. A line of androids that were, de that were designated to kill other uh, 
Fuck, okay. Hold up. Of course, she cut off exactly uh, Tubi's arm. Oh, shit. So, yeah, 2B was actually 2E, and she... She had to keep killing him over and over, meaning... she Was she always paired with... Um, with 9S, then? Because she said... A A2 said... Oh, damn, look at them booty cheeks. But... <laughs> A2 said that um, they always knew that 9S would learn the truth. So I guess 2B was always paired with 9S models just to kill him just in case. Was that literally her only reason for, like, existing? Fuck, man. Tell me where to find the virus corrupting 9S. Affirmative. Your high unit A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert. Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorhan tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, pod. You know that? <laughs> what are you thinking of doing, A2? This is like big and scrolling and shit. Am I going the right way? <laughs> oh, it must be. Jesus. Okay, this was a lot longer than I thought it was. God damn, her legs must be on fire. Oh, she's an android. She can handle it. Bowser's Endless Staircase, exactly. It was even almost similar music. God. Take care of 9S. What have you, A2? I've still got something I need to do. Is she giving herself up? You go ahead. To, like, save 9S's mind? Oh, that was a really cool transition. Why am I hearing children? I'm sorry. Okay. I never quite realized how beautiful this world is. I'm coming, everyone. Yeah, I really don't need to know that, A2. <laughs> what? Okay, so ending C. Okay, so the tower was it the tower the tower itself I suppose was infecting 9S So yeah, I am supposed to do A2 first. Okay, it's a good thing I picked the right one then. But yeah, I I guess yeah, I, I guess I'm s the tower was infecting 9S and so she, what she's destroying the tower and sacrificing Herself in order to, I guess, get rid of the virus in Night S, but he's still, he's still n gonna have like, a... yo, this fucking song though. But yeah, Night S's mind is still gonna be fucked up, isn't it? Because it wasn't only the virus that was, like, he was actually mentally fucked up already before they went to the tower. <laughs> I 
it doesn't lock you, it just fits better thematically. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant, Steven. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, Route C is so good. This game, this game is, this game is special. It really is. Also, the credits are going, like, the other way around from usual. I find that interesting. I still want to see Emil's memories, though. It's still driving me crazy that I haven't been able to. Like, I've been looking it up online, and I, sh I should have been able to at any point, really, in Route A or B. And so I don't know why I was never able to... Uh, to, to view them. I don't fucking know. I'll figure it out at some point. Let's all just rock out, or not rock out, but just relax to this music. Beautiful. Beautiful music. I'm wondering if we're going to get any sort of a, a post credit scene. I gotta, I gotta message my uh, my friend on Discord. Tell him, yo, I just finished Route C, man. He's gonna be like, what already? After this is over, go to chapter select and select chapter 1709. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Beautiful world. Oh, there is a post credit scene. All right. What's up? What's going on? It's a moose. <laughs> was that... Okay, so there was a fanny pack. And a sword. What, was that 2B sword or A2s? And this is the next route you play as the booze. I love it. All right, so chapter select uh, can be accessed from title screen and access points. No, awesome. The debug menu? Ho hold up, what? Interesting. Activating the debug menu will disable all save functionality until you load any save data. 
debug menu. You can now use the debug room. It can be accessed from the start menu. At debug room, you can use the debug menu to freely place enemies. Cool, okay. Some heavy armors, A2 wig. <laughs> Machine research reports, okay. The strange resistance woman has a new topic to talk about. Talk to her at the resistance camp to find out what it is. Yeah, I'll save. I'll definitely save. I like how it's still, at this point, it's still giving us new shit. <laughs> like, damn. We're just going to the main menu, or... Yeah, okay. I'm wondering, are those Lunar Tears, actually? Maybe. I don't know. I never really looked too closely at this main menu. Uh, let's uh, let's go take a peek first. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I don't want to load this one up, right? I just wanna. I'm not gonna. Okay, so I'm missing some. Quests. They're missing quite a few quests here. Five quests in chapter five. Oh man. How is there quests here? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just start game. Let's see what happens. Everything that lives is designed. Oh shit! Is it just starting from the beginning? Perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral. Oh fuck! <laughs> okay, hold up. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. Yeah, okay, alright. And wonder if we'll ever have the chance to kill him. Yeah, no, I'm good, fam. Let me out. <laughs> this is command. Your hot squadron, come in. To be here. All units have penetrated the strap. Penetrate your asshole if you don't let me out of here. Come on. Screen across the board. Interesting that there's a 7E here, actually. Okay. Hey, I went to I went to start game not realizing it would literally just, like, start me from the beginning of the game. I'm trying to get out of this right now. ay 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 I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna close it. <laughs> and reopen it. I think that should be fine, right? Oh, by the way, Steven, did you ever buy Final Fantasy VII Remake? I, uh, I don't remember if you ever bought it or not, but it, it's free on uh, PS Plus right now if you didn't buy it, so uh, just letting you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to actually download it after this, after I finish the stream. Oh, you did buy it? Ha! <laughs> you spent your money? <laughs> Loser. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what's dumb is that Square Enix does this right after announcing the DLC. Why? What's dumb about that? Oh, you can't you can't upgrade from the. Uh, what, from, from the PS4 version? Because I think it's only the PS5 version that's getting the new uh, Yuffie episode, right? <coughs> oh, oh! 
Excuse me. Oh, okay, you get the PS5 version for free if you own the if you own FF7 remake. Even but not if you uh but not not if you get it for free through PS Plus. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I know you were telling me to go do chapter... What was it? You wanted me to do chapter 17 something. You said something else as well. Hold up. Yeah, you wanted me to do chapter 1709. Uh, I want to just look around a little bit first, actually. They were saying someone at the Resistance has something interesting to say, so I want to check on that. Uh... Should I go to... I also want to see if I can get Emil's memories. And I know in route A and route B, I'm, I should... As long as I have the key, I should be able to get to Emil's place at any time before I fight this giant machine thing at the flooded city. So let's try chapter 6. Well, let's try chapter 7-1. Playing it, actually playing as 2B is going to be a little weird now. <laughs> Look, she's alive! Oh my god! No. <coughs> Excuse me. Ow! That actually really hurt. I cut my finger at work again uh, a couple days ago. This one was actually pretty gnarly. I'm trying to let it heal right now. And I just smacked my, <laughs> myself right on my cut. All right, so let's get the f fuck up out of here. What? What? Hello? Oh, <laughs> this is the one quest that glitched up on me last time. What was all that about? No idea. I mean, I guess I could try to do it, and hopefully, it won't glitch up on me again. Wait, hold, hold the fucking phone. There's another... Are these quests I didn't take before? There's another quest here in the village. Where is it? Oops. Fuck. So this machine mother has a child, eh? It's surprising to see them form familial units like that. I wonder if they'll let us examine their brain circuits if we bring the kid home. Your scientific curiosity is getting out of hand, 9S. Joking! I'm joking. Mostly. Is it down here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know what this is. It's these two. Yeah, I'm gonna do that another time. I need a, I need a fuck ton of money for them anyways. Can I... Speaking of that, how, well, how much money do I even have? Well, I got 56,000 gold, so I do technically have enough for the final part of their their story, but uh, I don't know if I want to do it right now. Yeah, I'm mainly going to try focusing on seeing if I can actually get to Emil's memories right now, because that shit's been pissing me off for the longest time. So from everything I've heard, I should be able to get to Emil's memories now. Or everything I've like read, I guess. I've kind of low-key sort of read how to get Emil's memories because it's been pissing me off. I don't know anything about what it is or what happens, but as far as I know, I should be able to right now. Let me double check. I got the key, right? Key items. Yeah, I got the elevator key. 
Uh, I'm actually planning on ending the stream pretty much right away. I want to get up because I want to get up at eight. <laughs> I, I just want to check this. See if this is actually going to work. Okay, why? We don't need such things. Don't be so sure about that. Once we eradicate the machine life forms, us soldiers won't have anything left to do. We'll enter a new age of peace. And when that happens, we shut up, Nunes, for a second, please. I could buy you, I don't know, a t shirt maybe? I mean, this, this is a really cute good. conversation, but I, I want to figure what? this out right now. Not interested? Hmm. When that day comes, oh. I'm all for it. That's a promise, right? Yep. All right, so fucking why? This is this. Is there another elevator that I've been missing? Let's try going up here. No, as far as I could tell, that's the only elevator. So, what the fuck? Right, you know what? Fuck this. I'm looking this up. Near Automata elevator key. All right, the let's see the use on uh, the near wiki. If it'll work, hello. Nine S will never get to buy that T-shirt for uh, for two B. Oh no, that's so sad. That's a that is. Definitely a sub I've never seen. <laughs> oh, it's a little stick man crying. I like that. That's cute. Okay, what the fuck? Apparently that website I was on doesn't want to work. Okay, apparently apparently I need to go talk to Emil. Uh maybe do his quest again cuz it kind of resets and then it unlocks being able to use the key even though I have the key. That's from the checkout how, how hard I can cry comic. I've never even heard of this. It sounds it sounds pretty cute. I like that. All right, where the fuck is Emil then? Where the fuck am I? Here we go. Oh, that's the uh, the racing guy. <laughs> I still need to try to beat him. All right, here's Emil just racing around. Let's go talk to him. Apparently, I need to trigger this thing with him. I, I really just want to get this tonight. <laughs> I've been trying to get Emil's memories for the longest fucking time. Uh huh. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey! 
No hurting my friend. Why? Oh, apparently I could talk to him. Okay. I'm a meal. It's my shop. I want to buy something. I mean, I don't really, I don't really need any of this. What was that? You want to know where I live? I definitely did not ask that, but I do want to know. Welcome. Yeah, now you're selling different stuff. You're welcome, friendo. Welcome. Thanks, friendo. Is that it? Can I just go back now and it, it'll let me? It'll just let me do the. Uh, Careful, Tubi. I'm picking up hostels. Use the elevator. Let's go give it a shot, man. I'm I'm a. I, Hold up, I missed, I missed, uh, I kind of missed Tubi, man. Okay, I can't get, I can't get a good view here, but you know what I'm trying to do. I missed Tubi, man, not gonna lie. Did I find all the Lunar Tears? I did, yeah, that's how I got the elevator key. So I have the elevator key in my inventory. I just, I don't know, it hasn't, it, it, this quest seems to be really weird to activate. Tubi is really nice. She's a nice lady. I agree. Oh wait, now there's a side quest here. Or there was. Is it uh, is it on this floor? Wait, do I have to find all of them again? Are you serious? Hi, Emil. Alright, let's fine. Let's do it again, I guess. Why does this quest work like this? If you find another lunar tier, just let me know on this. I'm counting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I remember where they are, <laughs> where the fuck they are. So that's good, at least. If I fell in love with a with a person like Two B and she was murdered, you'd probably go insane and then stick your arm in your arm socket too. Yeah, like I've been saying, I don't, I don't entirely blame Nine S. In all honesty, he, he, he did, he had definitely seen a lot of shit in a very short amount of time, so. I don't blame him for going off the deep end, but at the same time, it's like, you can't just let that happen. Alright, so I know there's one in the park ruins. This is probably the easiest one for me to find right away. Park ruins, I think there was... Was there one in the forest? I know there's one in the desert. The flooded city? That sounds right. Yeah, true love getting destroyed definitely does suck, man. I do agree. Even if even if they are just androids. Oh, uh, whoops! Went right past it. This is a we better. Hey there, guy. What's up? We found a lunar tier. It's located at. Stay right there. I'm coming. Uh. I love how comedic these scenes are with the meal. Hey. Are you? It's with this. No. You mean? Thanks. Oh, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that, Emil. Uh, 
Oh, and let me just double check the map. Okay, so there is there is one in the forest. Uh, I don't remember exactly where that one is. Uh, but let's go. Let's go give it a look. See. And I remember that one of the desert is actually uh, <laughs> like the hardest one to find. Yeah, you got to take like a really weird underground uh, tunnel to get to it. Hopefully that one won't take me too long. Because like I'm tired, man. <laughs> I want to go to sleep so I can get up early and just stream this again tomorrow. You know. I would keep playing, but it's like. I got roommates, man. I don't want to keep them up all night. <laughs> you know how it is. Let's go see if I can find this tear. Or this flower, rather. Sorry. The fuck you talking about, controller? I got no... I don't got no shit plugged into you. Microphone switch to USB headset. Hello? That's not fucking anything up on my stream, is it? No. Thank you, PS4. I appreciate that. Oh, here we go. Yes, I do remember this now. Lunar Tears is just over here. It's a lunar. Kind of low key wish I could skip these. Hey there. What's going on? I found one of those flowers you were looking for. It's over at Don't move an inch. I'm coming. Don't move. Sorry to keep you. Sup, Emil. <laughs> Damn, you're uh, That's it. back what I f You did? I think I but I don't Thank you for finding your luck. I'm gonna stay here. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Alright, uh, I guess the desert now? Oh, no, no, no. There we go. You gonna head off to sleep, man? Alright, I appreciate that, man. Have yourself a good night. Now, I'll be streaming. I'll be streaming fairly early tomorrow, probably around 9 a.m. If you're uh, if you're gonna be free around then, feel free to come by. I guess let's just do this one. Oh, shit, you work in the evening, so you can do the weekly uh, tournament? That sucks, bro. Yeah, ho hopefully, it, uh, are they streaming it on there on your uh, Twitch still? Or is it like their own personal Twitch now? Yeah, excuse me. Right, at least, at least, I, at least, I have a vague idea of where I'm going to actually find this flower this time. Uh, I just don't remember exactly which route I took. You don't know if they'll stream. I told them they don't have to. Honestly, the stream is probably your hardest stream since you also have to run the tournament. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. 
Well, as long as the tournament still, uh, still goes on well, that's all that matters, I guess. Damn, only level 10? I feel bad for these guys. All right, have yourself a good night, Steve. I, uh, talk to you tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> it's definitely not the right way. Maybe? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I was thinking I might back, I might loop back around. I'm thinking this isn't this isn't it, fam. <laughs> Let's head back. This is all trial and error, folks. Even though I've done it once before. Yo, camera? Okay. I got a little confused there. We're good. We're good though. the weapon there. Uh, let's check down this way. Pretty sure I actually specifically remember this not being the way. Yeah, definitely not. Man, why do they gotta make this shit so confusing? What the fuck, what the fuck yo, Gotaro? Platinum. What are you doing to me? Oh, does this one actually just end here? Oh, okay, alright. Let's head back. Again. You know, at least the music here is just so damn good, right? <laughs> I thought I also remembered this not being... it. What the fuck? Wasn't that the last, like, way to go? Now I'm confused. Yeah, because that just kind of runs parallel to the one up there.
Color me confusion, my boys. I wish I could hack it. <laughs> I think I went down this way already, yeah? Yeah, I remember the I remember this, I remember the hook. What the fuck? Where else is there to go? Oh, I haven't opened this yet. How about that? Okay. Still can't you it still can't take it, but I know I went up here earlier. Why am I so lost over this? There's gotta be there's gotta be something I'm missing. No, this one seems really weird to me. I feel like I should be able to jump up here. Like, no? Excuse me. Huh. Yeah, no, this isn't gonna do anything for me either. What the fuck? I know I found out on my own once before, so I don't want to look up a walkthrough, but am I just am I gonna have to? Yo, this is gonna drive me fucking nuts. What the hell, man? I know I checked out every path down here.
Oh, okay. I just want to go to sleep, man. <laughs> I just want to get this over with and go to sleep. Pretty sure I've already been over here. Let's go double check again, though. I never opened up this with uh, 9S. Oops. Oh, wait, what? Wait, am I really as fucking stupid? Oh my god, I'm this fucking stupid. Alright. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> For some reason, I just didn't think that was the way to go. Oh god, I'm so glad I found it on my own. <laughs> I was this close to looking it up. I was fighting the ape, so I decided to create more. But the ape, I lost. Say, Emil, how old? I'm. Thank you. You'll let me know. I'm gonna. Yeah, so I think there is still one more, but it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to find, I'm pretty sure. Camp's just up here. Okay, okay. I got it. Thick quick boy save and then uh uh hmm yeah it's in the pretty sure it's in the flooded city oh oh it's getting late my boys. Excuse me. <clears throat> oh, this... That is a flooded city, right? I think. Pretty sure. <clears throat> I hope so. <laughs> Hey, what's up, all you weaklings? Level 22? Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I'm still plowing through you, but... Nice. I think this should be the last lunar tier. A 
I should probably. I got this. <laughs> I think at this time I didn't even contact him. Exactly. Yet. Uh, Emil. I just. I. Hmm? Uh, thank you again. You've helped me remember an important uh -huh. place. Oh. A place in thanks. Well, now I got two elevator keys. It'll let you access the elevator in the. You should head there. I'm sorry. Elevator key capacity full. All right, yeah, man. Why does this quest have to be so weird? I suppose maybe it is kind of part of the side quest to be like, oh, get the key and then do the elevator. But uh, I feel like they should have uh, made like an exception for this specific one. Because if if you have the elevator key. In your inventory, it doesn't really make sense to have to do the whole quest over again, right? At least in my opinion. Whatever. Let's finally, finally go see Emil's memories. Dear God. Okay, is it... City runs near the tower. Let's go! Sorry, 9S, you're just gonna have to hang back for a while, my boy. Excuse. I swear to God, if, it, if for whatever fucking reason it still doesn't want to work, I'm going to punch a goddamn fist into my wall. <laughs> but there's no reason for it not to now, right? Yeah, it's even a side quest marker on my map now. I don't know why I didn't do it before. This must be what Emil's uh -huh. key is for. All right, let's go do it. Boys, I am excited. Wait, is this... Is this Kaine's grandma's place? Are we outside the Airy? That's what the menu screen was! Look at all the lunar tears. Yeah, and there's oh. just a field of lunar tears here. Thank you for coming. Hi, Emil. Emil, what is this place? It's the place from my memories <clears throat> that I worked so hard to protect. Uh -huh. Or, to be exact, the place protected by the person I used to be. Uh, sorry. I don't get it. Oh, we're gonna go into, like, a whole thing here? A long time ago, I was created to uh -huh. a weapon. A weapon that could adapt to any environment, and one capable of total destruction. You're... A weapon? When the war against the aliens started, I decided to strengthen that weapon by creating copies of myself. Makes sense. Interesting. So, in truth, I'm only one of a countless number of Emils. I, or we, I guess, worked with each other to keep our defensive lines intact. I like that there's just one giant Emil. of ourselves we created. The more our original memories began to fade. Oh, well, that's sad. Wait, I just noticed the song. Oh. The original Emil liked this place a lot. He spent a lot of time here with people he loved. They were tough times, sad times, but the memories of that journey were his greatest treasure. 
And I have a few traces of those memories in my own mind. Where's the original Emil now? I don't know. There were so many of us that after a while, we just... Oh. And there's still something that all of us Emils need to settle. Hmm? Oh, right. I should probably repay you for all of your help. Please take this. It's said that a lunar tear can make any wish come true. Thank you. Oh, no. I'm the one who should be thanking you. You've helped me find some of my precious memories. Now I'll be able to keep pushing forward, even if I'm alone. Oh, I have to come back here as 9S. Oh my god. This is my favorite song from OG Nier. Oh, I don't remember the exact name of it, but I know it's Kaine's theme. It's amazing that uh, Emil just preserved this place for thousands of years. <laughs> Kaine's grandma's house is still looking as shitty as ever. After Hook attacked. I guess there's, there's no trace of the airy here or anything. All of that is gone. I knew, I knew that the Forest Kingdom was, uh... Well, and to be fair, I actually thought the Forest Kingdom was the village. Um, because I thought the library was kind of reminiscent of, you know, Popola's library. But then we had Popola's library in the tower. So, I don't know. I wish there was a save point here, man. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? I wish there was a safe one so I could just... I mean, I technically... I can still come here anytime I want, so I'm pretty sure. I just... I don't want to stop listening to this music, man. Uh, I'm hoping, and now that I've actually completed the side quest, I... Uh, if I go to chapter select, I can kind of, I can just come straight back here as 9S and uh, get whatever this is. Maybe it's like a weapon or something. You help me find some of my precious <sighs> All right. I'm glad I finally came here. I can't wait. I can't wait for the remake to come out or the remaster, rather. <sighs> I, I want to say I heard the um, the re-recording for this song. It was, I know I heard a couple. I don't remember if I heard a re-recording for that one yet or not. But I just I can't wait to hear it in the game again. But yeah, I think this is gonna be it for today's stream. I'm just gonna head. Uh, Head back over here, save, and uh, call in a night, guys. I've been streaming for a while. <laughs> it's getting late. Roommate's trying to sleep, man. I actually wanted to quit at uh, 12, but I was way... Which was like an hour ago, but... <laughs> I was way too invested in what was going on. Oh, uh, where is that safe? Here it is. Alright. Yeah, this will be it for today's stream. Uh, my Bluetooth mouse will work. There we go. I need to get a stream deck so I can just boop, push a button and switch scenes. But yeah, thank you to everyone who came out to uh, watch me play today. Yo, who's this? Oh, can you dab, bro? Uh, I'm sorry, man. I, I don't think you're. 
It sounded like it actually played. So, uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know. It should have played. I've had other sound alerts play earlier. But also, uh, Little Mirror, thank you. Thank you for coming by, man. I appreciate that. Uh, I will be streaming again if you want to stop by. I will be streaming again tomorrow uh, around 9 a.m. Central Standard Time-ish. I'm just going to be cleaning up side quests and uh, whatnot and, I don't know, maybe getting Root D, depending on uh, just how long I stream for. But, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, man. I've been streaming for probably about four-ish hours now. I've I've been live for a while. But yeah, yeah. Just catch me tomorrow morning if you're if you're free though. Uh, I'm gonna head off now. I'm gonna get myself a good sleep. Um, have a good night, everybody. I love y'all. Oh wait, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on. I always forget this. I want to see if my uh, if my friend Sarah is actually live right now. If she is, I would like to do a little raid. She did say she wasn't gonna be streaming. Uh, da, da. She is okay. She is live. Let's go. Ra let's go raid my friend Sarah. Okay. Let's hit raid channel. Let's go show. Let's go show from uh, my friend Sarah some love, guys. Have a good night, everybody. Oh, <laughs>